as I feel as ah uh, yeah. Zero, when did you come in? Jeez, how can you do that? Ah. What? Is this working? Hello, hello, welcome to the show, you're so lovely, it's nice to have you here. Hello, hello, welcome to the show, it's nice to have you here. This is our tune. Sid, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. El Sid, El Sid. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. The sub. What are the chords? I tell you what, I was just listening to, and I wonder what the chords are. Mm, 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 mm. What song am I sing whist uh, humming, Alistair? Mm, 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 mm. What song am I singing? What song am I humming? Mm. Here we go. I wonder if I can do it on the, the old Mando. Let me see if I can do it on the Mando. I don't really know Mando chords. Mando, Lin. What song is that, Alistair? Al Alistair. Only Alistair. Only Alistair. Only Alistair. Only Alistair. I, I know you know Richard. I want Alistair. I want the old, the oldest gentleman, but what my brother... In recovery. So let's, let's see what we can do. So we want G, which I can do. It's all funny. Alistair? Where's Alistair gone? Alistair's struggling. Alistair, don't struggle. Right, here we go. So I want G. And what's the chorus? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Walking back to happiness. Whoop ah, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, goodbye to loneliness. Whoop ah, oh yeah. I don't. No one knows her. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I go C. All right. Now I knew that I miss you. So. What's D seven? Now. What's D seven? Hang on. Hold the line, caller. D seven. Oh, I ain't playing that. We'll play. We'll play half. We'll play half a D seven. Here we go, so it's, that's half a D7. Walking back to happiness, whoop oh yeah. Say goodbye to loneliness, whoop oh yeah. Mm, what's a C? It's, it's, it's a G but moved over. Okay, that sounds like a plan, Stan. Where is my partner in crime? She's not here. Okay, in that case, we just carry on going. I don't know how the verse goes. Walking back to happen. No, what's not? Walking back to happiness. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to loneliness. Oh, yeah. I never knew I'd miss you. Now I know what I must do. Happiness. I sh oh shit. I shared, I shared with you. That's it. Walking back to happiness. I They're all very similar. That's it. Walking back to happiness. I shared with you. Walk walking back to happiness. I sh no. What's that? Walking back to happiness. I shared with you I, I shared oh, it's just that I shared with you walking back to happiness I shared with you 
There we go. That's how you do that. Let's bring, let's bring the lady in. That's why the leaders we want to get on the speakers. We want you there. We want you there. Just want to make sure everything is set up. Oh, Boyley's falling off a chair. Zoom two people. Bishy bashy boshy. Hi. No, I'm on. Oh, oh you got your in the corner. Yep. <laughs> Kath has a full complement of cats in the house. I <laughs> do just... not. I am missing a cat. Why can't I do that? There we go. I am missing a cat. A black so and white cat. I've lost Lucky, not seen her for two nights. I do worry that I ran her over. When I was pulling out of the house yesterday morning at, half, at 5.50, I reversed out and I thought that I'd hit something, right? Because mm -hmm. I felt something. So I went forward and I came out and I looked and there was nothing there. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't seen her since. I probably haven't hit her. But of course, that's the thing that's going through my head. I've looked everywhere. I've done the walk up and down the road and through the allotment. And there's no cat body. I've done the, the walk on the train track. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. But I'm, I'm worried. So I've learned this. Okay. I've, I've learned a song. Um, you, you're channeling your worry. Yeah. What, can you guess what the song is, right? Go on. My Sweet Lord. Oh, it could be. My I really want to be with you. I really want to be with you, but it takes so long, I know. I no, it's not. Oh, disappointing. Then it gets to the end, there it goes. Oh, hang on, it's fiddly. Um, is it uh, Nicky Nocky Nacky New, which is the song that we all know? Uh, but none of us know the words to. Okay, I'll sing it. I'll sing it for you. Go on. I hum it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say goodbye to loneliness. Oh, oh yeah. I never knew I'd miss you. Now I know what I must do. Walking back to happiness I shared with you. That's not bad, right? Very excellent. That's very, very excellent. Alistair didn't know what it was. Um, well. And yet he would have been a teenager when it was a. Yeah, so I've lost a cat and I'm worried. And I am worried. Oh, shit, shouldn't have thrown that. No. I've got a right sweat on, have you? Uh, it's humid. I had a last minute... Um... I've, this room is a mess, right? Mostly because I had put all the podcasting stuff away and I had to whip it out quickly. Uh, and I couldn't find these. So I had a last minute fluster. I always have a last minute fluster. I can never just do anything calmly. Dave, always. dog face is off to see Neil Hannon. Good. I saw I saw Dave today. We had, went into Costa. Oh, um, I believe he gave you some things for me. Oh, some so CDs for you, some them. books for me. Bishy bashy boshy. Good. Um, I had some how. What well, go on? Sorry. I thought I've you were going to say. A, something. I've just got a job on March the twenty third, and I'm staying at an old man's house that night. Oh. Uh, Chip. Chip Summers. Oh. Chip Summers. Chip Summers has got me a, a, an after dinner speaking gig. That's very exciting, right? So we both had a little, um, a little, a little free song of uh, excitement today, didn't we? Tell, t tell the, tell the ladies and gentlemen, the boys and girls. I do a sensible job alongside the silly ones. Hello, Yoshi. Thank you for joining us. Oh, Come in quietly, Hello, please. Listen. There he is. Um, he just come bowling in as he does. Um, so I was doing my sensible job today and I thought, gosh, I wonder if this is actually, this isn't my side hustle. This is my, this is the hustle this now. This is the job now. This, this is, is it. This is the sensible one. What am I now? And I'd been listening to your um, excellent Jack FM show this morning. Okay. Tell me everything and, we did on the show this morning. Um, you did a quiz. That was all right, wasn't it? Yes. You played more music. And you were just generally hilarious and entertaining and You were listening. She was listening, guys. She listened. <laughs> 
But I was listening to you talking to Joe, who reads the news, and I was thinking, gosh, when I used to read the news, she said, oh, what's my job title? And you say, news editor. Are you, oh, you called her news girl, which I, I was uh, appalled on her behalf. You should have heard the first thing I called her off air. <laughs> I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Um, so, yeah, I was listening to that and thinking, oh, I'm, I remember when I had a job title. <laughs> Now I don't know what I am. So I was musing on that a little bit today and feeling a bit melancholy and a bit sort of uh, like a, like a feather blowing in the breeze. If that fortunately I'm I always land but you know you you kind of get to a point where you go what am I doing? <laughs> um and then I had uh, a, an alert from uh, Etsy from my Etsy shop saying oh you owe us 3 pounds for your I don't Etsy. Know if, I can still, if we still got the Etsy command. And I thought I haven't sold anything on there for ages but I've also not kind of flagged it up for ages either um i wonder whether it's worth paying for i'm paying three pounds now it's kind of like for nothing do i continue with it and i thought you know what i'm going to do i'll give it another month so i paid the three pounds and then i checked my emails to see if that had gone through and then i saw there we go an alert from like 10 minutes before i paid the, the link pounds. is in the chat if you want to go and check out Catherine's art mugs pictures someone had bought a picture pillows Some, someone had brought a print for like the first time in months and like a big one as well. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, that's, that's, that was worth the three pounds then. That's some coincidence, right? <laughs> yeah. And then um, I finished up my proper job today and then I looked at my phone and there was a message from Clinton Baptiste oh. <laughs> saying, someone that works in telly is looking for me and would, and would it be okay to pass on my details? It's, it's uh, a crime watch. <laughs> They know where I crime. am. She'd done a crime. They know where I am. I have to check in. <laughs> so there's something. And I am not expecting anything to come of it. It's just a, a nice little tickle that I needed, to be honest, because I was starting to feel a little bit um, aimless. Or um, like I didn't really know what I was doing anymore. But uh, thankfully, my proper job is fun and I'm working with someone nice and it is, um, yeah, you know. He's it, a dick, that guy. <laughs> He's nice. I, I know that guy. He's a dick. But it also, you know, it's using some of the skills that I had from when I was a journalist. But, you know, it's something different. So I'm not complaining about that at all. But I was just wondering whether um, whether that's becoming the main thing and the um, dicking around is um, becoming the side hustle. Everything changes. Mm -hmm. but As you. Robbie Williams once sang. No. Well, did he sing it? Yeah. Barlow wrote it. But the interesting thing about, you know, the album Forever Changes by the group Love. I'm aware of the, it. Yes, the full the, the, it's the title comes from it's like so. Arthur Lee was a dick, right? And some girls saying to him, "Are we, you know, we're we still a couple?" And he went, "You know, baby, love forever changes." And so that's it, the, no. Then the full title is "Love Forever Changes." He also did an album called "Love for Sale," but the record company wouldn't let him call it for sale, so he calls it for F O U R Sale S A I L. It's a crazy world of um, heroin users, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just reading a book about Lou Reed at the moment, who I don't like, but um, I find him fascinating. Mm. Um, Tiringham says, I don't wish to be controversial, but I book about, bought a book about photography by Dave Lee Travis, which is signed for one pound in, chari in charity shop. We've, we, I think we've looked at that book on here as much as we can without breaking TOS. It's a mucky book. He's taken pictures of me. Isn't before. it people dressed up mm -hmm. as their sexy ladies dressed up as their fears? Isn't that what it is? Yes, I think so. He was, you know, he, he took, I He's went on a, a golf day bastard. with him once and he took a few snaps and was talking about his photography. Um, but I was never invited back to, um, to, to, to the trough pad. <laughs> you, you got off lightly. Mm. Um, speaking of, um, you know, new things, Ian Sykes is in the room. And Ian is building me my counselling website. I saw that. Would you like to see what I got to write? Look, um, he's doing all the work. I'm the one that's like, I've, I've got to do a load of, I've got, I've got to do a load of writing and stuff. Should we have a little look? Hmm. So this is, this is it. Look, Ian Lee counselling. Picture of me. Then I put words in. And and that's it. And that's all I want, really. Look at this. Look. Oh, I don't know if everyone can see it at home. No, they can't because I'm. Um, You're on it. I'm on it. I got to do that, and then I got to make you bigger. You didn't say it. Bigger still. Thank you. Uh, and there we go. And look at this beautiful picture. It's taken by my ten-year-old. 
Lovely. Isn't that great? Mm. It's taken by my 10-year-old. Uh, Ian says, keen to point out, it's still a work in progress, though. But he, this is, I think this is absolutely great. Uh, IanLeeCounseling.com, it's going to, it'll be up at some point. But I put the email out today, and I have had a load of people getting in touch. Have you? I have had about 10 people getting in touch. Now, it does not mean 10 clients. That may mean no clients, because mm -hmm. I've got to write back and say, well, this is how much it is, and this is how I like to work. Tell you what it is, not bad for day one. Not bad for day one at all. I, I spoke to Chip Summers, who we had on. Um, we should, we should, I'll ask if he wants to come on this nonsense. Uh, came on the radio show, and he was my therapist for a long time. And you, if you Russell Brand worked with him a while ago, and 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 all that kind of stuff. If that if that stuff's important to you, uh, oh, got some sad news. Oh no, what? Genuinely sad news. Lino, are you in the chat? Lino just sent me a text. It's genuinely sad news, um, and it's not. I'm not doing the thing. I just want to see if Lino is in. Uh, is in is in the chat. Um, anyway, I approached Chip, who I respect a lot, and said, "How much do I charge?" I've been told this. Lino's there. I've been told this, but I think this. And he came back and saying, "If if you go for the one you've been told, you've got to remember you've got to pay the tax, you've got to pay electricity, and all of that. If you're renting a room, which I'm not, so I have a I have a fee, which I'm mm -hmm. not going to say here. I will um, uh, I will." say to my clients or to potential clients Lino is in the room Lino has texted me he found out from the found footage boys they like to do a website that Lucille Cataldo who is she please Catherine oh she's the um, hairdresser or hairdresser she uh, died in June oh died in June um, so Lucille Cataldo rip we maybe we will have a little tribute to her. I think we should. It's what she Tonight really is going to be a very talented. That, that is that is really sad because she brought us so much pleasure, and um, she would have died never knowing that there was this small, you know, two, three, four hundred. Well, I suppose once the podcast factored in, maybe a thousand people in the UK that were getting off on her song. Yeah, and she would never have known that, and. Um, Got to tell the people that you love that you, that you love them, even the people that you find mildly entertaining. Tell them that, Catherine. Got to tell them before they die. Tell the people that you I love, find you, you mildly love entertaining. No, 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 Catherine. I, this is absolutely genuine. Now I'm doing this now. What I um, really, really respect and love um, the Clinton Baptiste podcast. <laughs> Would you mind telling him? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Would you mind telling him? What's the difference between a counsellor and a therapist? Nothing, really. Nothing. The psychotherapist is a different thing altogether, but counsellor and therapist is nothing. Of course, I, I prefer counsellor, because it's whatever you want to do. Speaking of therapists, thank you to Mandula. I don't know if she is here this evening. Thank you for that, Lena. Um, the, the, uh, uh, she pointed me in the direction of the new TV series, The Patient, starring Steve Carell mm. as a counsellor, therapist, who, there's no spoiler, it happens in the first scene, gets kidnapped by one of his clients. I'm watching that as I'm setting up my email and doing my, my insurance and all of that. I've got insurance. Um, two, there's only two episodes so far. There has, right, all TV, right, everything has to have a twist, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? Everything has to have a twist. Otherwise, there's no point in making it anymore. You can't just have something that's like a story. Yeah, this, this happened and it was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I... Um, M says, I think Dr. Mighty should be a regular on Jack FM to introduce song. I blocked him now because he was getting a bit, he was scaring me. Um, uh, I think if this show has got a twist, I've worked it out. Mm -hmm. But if this oh. show has got a twist, I've worked it out. Yeah. Well, hang on. What do you think it is? I haven't not... seen it and I reckon I know what it is. You, ha you don't. Go on. You can say it because you'll be wrong. What? He's imagining it all. Oh, for fuck's sake, Kat. What do you think this is? Um... Give my regards to Broad Street, and it's it's the, you know give my regards to Broad Street, the Paul McCartney movie, which I enjoy. Mm. It's half an hour too long, but I enjoy it, right? And the whole story is someone that um, Paul McCartney gave a chance to, an ex-con, has stolen the master tapes for his new album. If he doesn't get them back by midnight, then the evil corporation owns everything McCartney's ever done, right? So the whole thing is this rather slow-paced. Um, oh. 
Yam Yam says, what's the difference between a vegan and a computer programmer? One is disgusted by a rack of lamb and the other is disgusted by a lack of ram. Okay, but that's, uh, do you know what? I'll give you that. Ding, ding. I'll give you that. Um, so, uh, spoiler, forgive my regards to Broad Street. He finds the last minute... He finds the guy. He hadn't stolen them. He got locked in a toilet on Broad Street Station, which I don't think Broad Street is there anymore. Mm. Um, I did remod you, Gatford. Oh, you're Gatford one. For, for, dear God. Uh, mod Gatford underscore one. Thank you for the reminder. There we go. You should. Are you a mod now? Try something. But then, so that ending is bad enough. But then it's all a dream. Then it's all a dream anyway. So it's, it's <laughs> oh, two no. not, bad endings. Not the Bobby in the shower. <laughs> So I think I know what the twist is. You don't. You haven't seen the show, so you won't have any idea how what the twist is. I think I have seen. I think I've worked out what the twist is. If anyone wants to know my thoughts on that, please, um, please ask. Please ask me in a private forum, and I will tell you what I think the twist is. It's obvious when you think about it. Okay. Is it? Gafford, you're a mod. I can see you're a mod. You've got a sword. Um, I'm worried about my cat. I'm worried about Lucky. I'm worried I ran her over. Fucking hell. That'd be awful, right? But as we said earlier on, sensibly, if you would run her over on the driveway, she would drag herself to the door. She wouldn't run off I've into the night. I've never gone back and thought, oh, shit, did I hit something? I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, I'm really worried about her. But then she disappeared for a night earlier in the week, then rocked yeah. up. Yeah. But I've been out there, I've been shouting, I've I've been on the train track of death, I've been out on the road, I've been all around. Um, uh, is it worth putting a picture on a local Facebook? Yeah, I will do. It's only two nights. It's only two nights, so we'll give it a little and bit And she longer, has got form. Yeah, but the fact I... Who, who knows? This This is such a... Um, it's such a worry. Tonight is going to be a talent-based show because the Jack FM Talent Week was such a huge success. Was it? No. <laughs> Jimbo phoned in and held his breath for 12 seconds and Anonymous Tim played Guess Who by memory. That was it. Okay. Um, but we were in the... Ah, this was it. In the £15 Zoom meeting. By the way, it's the first day of Patreon. Let's, we're going to be selling Patreon tonight, so you've got to deal with it. This show is... I've been watching it on a hooky website, Amy. This show uh, is a free one tonight. We do two shows a week, generally Thursdays and Fridays. That may change next week because we're seeing Stephen Page. Um, gem you don't need a VPN. What do you want a VPN for? Generally Thursdays and Fridays, 7 till 9.30 and 7 till 10. Um, but there are also hundreds of hours of podcasts and video that is exclusive to this. We also do, if you go to one of the higher tiers, you get two Zoom meetings a month. I don't know why I'm selling it. We haven't had any new people sign up to Patreon for the last three months. Instead, we've just had people leave. But we'll do it anyway. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this um, podcast... Ian, you don't need to. You built me a website for free. You get you get everything for free. I'll send you the RSS. Um, Patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. Patreon.com slash I-A-I-N and Catherine with a K. Patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. For a fiver, $4.99 plus VAT, the price of two coffees, you can um, uh, get access to all of these podcasts. If you feel like you want to... Come and join the Zoom meetings. Just just two a month, two for a month. You can just pop up to the fifteen pound tier just for that, and then pop straight back down again. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. This um, is part of our job. Catherine was talking about having a proper job. I do the radio. We're going to be doing some counselling, but none of them on their own. Um, Digger signed up last month. Thank you. None of them on their own cover everything. So. You know what it's like. You've got to do, and this kind of happened during lockdown for a lot of people, a side hustle. But this isn't even a side hustle. This is about uh, this is about a third of my income yeah. <laughs> each month. Um, and the radio pays terribly. I only just got paid today. I started on Ju July the 4th. Um, so, listen, we would love you to sign up. If you want to keep this show going, the Late Night Alternative going, please do sign up. This isn't begging because... Someone, oh, stop begging and get a proper job. No, you fuck off. Um, we have got proper jobs. 
But then this is one of them, and this is a proper valid job. And if you compare it to other Patreons, we give real bang for your buck. We really, really um, do. So if you can sign up, patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine, even if it's just a month, it really, really helps. However, let me just it put that into a balloon and push the balloon there. It's stuck, it's stuck there, like we're in an old bar. Um, we are also aware that times are really tough. Bless you, Catherine. Times are really tough. Things are getting uh, expensive. I'm shitting myself about... Um, I'm shitting myself. Did I... Harsh, have I sent you any of the invoices? I didn't send you today's invoice. I'll send you that. Um, and, and we all know that you are. So if you can't afford it, that's absolutely fine. You do not need to tell us why... Particularly if you don't like the show, please don't tell us that, as a few people have done. <laughs> um, we get it, man. It's tight. And, and one of the thing, first things you're going to get rid of is this. That is cool. And when this goes down to a certain level, we're not too far off it, but when this gets down to a certain level, we've both agreed that that will be that, will be that and we'll walk away from it and we'll hand it over to the universe and we'll see what happens. These are really, really scary times. And um, let's see what happens. It's like tangent, Catherine, if you indulge me one more time, Go on. uh, going up for free. I've done two little videos about getting through the kind of, um, the, you know, the energy and the food and all of that, the, the, the cost going up. I don't want to, I, I keep using the, the, the phrase cost of living crisis, which it is, but actually that's quite a terrifying phrase. So I've made two little videos and if if I come up, if I kind of nick any tips from Martin Lewis or see any tips, we'll put them in there to save money. But it's more about engendering. Is that the right word? Yes. A sense of community, and it can be. There we go. Thank you so much, Kate. For there's the the YouTube channel, and I'll I'll make a little playlist of them. It's more about. Um, a community around the fact that this is going to feel a really lonely winter mm -hmm. in terms of, of money and food. And I, I tr trust me, I get it. I'm, you know, I've, I've bought a load of wood. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a sofa bed for here because I'm probably going to use that for clients. So I might get a slightly nicer one, which is going to be tricky. Um, for them to sit on, they're not stopping over. For them to sit on. This is going to be the kind of room that I live in during the winter. I'm going to live by the fire, watch TV here, you know. Um, when the boys come, I'll put the heating on. Trust me, Olivia Newton-John John died ages ago. Still gutted, aren't you, Mimi? Um, <laughs> Catherine and I both know what it's like, and we're both shitting ourselves. So these videos are just a way of saying you are not alone, People are leaving nice comments. So there are some some idiots. Someone, a lot of the Alex Belfield people, and someone left a comment. Oh, oh, why don't you all just man up and join a twenty four hour gym? And then there was a long <laughs> reason as to why that would be a good thing to do to save energy. It's like what the what? So I'm not even in, on, on on my other videos. I'll, I'll sometimes engage with them. Sometimes I'll just block them. On that, I'm just getting rid of them. Um, I, yeah, we're not. That's not what this is about. So there's there's a couple of videos. I'll create a little playlist while we're doing Fair this. Fair play though. His um, viewers do tend to be athletic types, don't they? Oh God. So I have uh, I um, th there was a, I thought there was a problem with my Ian at IanLee.com emails, right? Because I had it going through my Google and and they wouldn't really come in. And every now and then I'd do a test and it would come through and I go, oh, it must be working, right? But having this hello at IanLeeCounseling.com email, I worked out. It said you can set it up as like a, it doesn't have to go through Google. You can just set it up on your phone. And so I did that. And then I thought, well, I wonder what would happen if I set up the Ian at IanLee.com through my phone and not through Jimmy. 250 emails popped up. A lot of spam, but a lot of very interesting people, very interesting people saying they had been victims of Alex Belfield. Very interesting people. I was invited to go on the Stephen Nolan show to talk about it, which is weird. Um, and some emails, so obviously from Alex Belfield, so obviously, it was nuts because we know the style. We could always call him out before we know the style. And it they kind of tries to, they've all got really like dumb names. Like one guy, Justin Hilton. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. It was called it Dave Smith. And it just kind of, um, 
Uh, I have got them on my PC now, yeah. And, and, and so there was one. Yeah, Alex Belfield. I liked him. But he's so many fake names, so many fake name emails. If you get back in touch with me, I will, um, I'll tell you. I thought, okay, Alex, I'll email. And the, but the email was, so his, so his name's like Justin Hilton or something. And the email was like J, tjh33621 at gmail.com. So I emailed him and of course it bounced back. Now that's a nuts thing. To, let's assume, let's, let's be generous, right? Let's assume it's not Belfield, right? That's the kind of people that he um, talks to. Nuts yeah. people. Yeah. Absolutely nuts. So anyway, if you email me in the last year on Ian at ianlee.com, I, I didn't get it. So sorry about that. I didn't get it. It's just, the way, it's, just, just, it's just the way it goes. Right, I need to send an email to Harsh. Dear Harsh. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So, <laughs> um, Harsh, and then I type that. So at the £15 Zoom meeting, which you were not at because stuff was going on. We finally got... Jim, are you here? Jim Adebo. Jim Adebo told us about the talent show he witnessed... Oh, yeah. ...at Park Dean, right? Hey, not a jockey. Thank you for the sub. We'll talk about how you can sub on here as well. For free. If you're watching on Twitch, don't, don't pay the four quid. We'd rather you paid us three quid to the donate link, right? Um... Otherwise, be- Bezos will just spend it all on yeah, yeah. cock, cock if, rockets. If you've got Amazon Prime, link your Amazon Prime to Twitch, sub that, because it doesn't cost you a penny, we get a couple of quid. Don't pay the four quid. Pay us three quid to the thing. Um, Digger says, I'm all in to sign up for Ian and Kath's cosy winter nights in. We'll do that. We'll have some of that. Yeah. I tried to... Uh, Debo, WBD. My Patreon is pending, but we'll go through. Thank you. I've tried to blag... Some more heated gilets. Gilet for the boys. I've I've said I've just emailed the company. Said I'll do I'll do some videos for you if you can. So, so but yes, yeah, so we heard about Jim Adebo, Jim Adebo, Jim Adebo's talent show at Park Dean. It was insane. Jim, I don't know. Are you are you available to come on the? Um, are you in a position to come on the Zoom? No pressure if you're not. But if you are so, in a position, was it campers that were doing it, or was it the yeah. staff? Yeah, yeah, it was campers, but it was it was primarily it was all kids apart from the final act. It was the most <laughs> insane sounding talent show I have ever heard. I'm just waiting to see if Jim. So it was is able all to... kids. How many of them would be would in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting to see if Jim is able to come in, and if not, I will I will talk about it. But we've ne- then found a whole world of Park Dean talent shows that was the the holiday place park dean oh jim's going to come in in a minute and the 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 prize is you get to go you have like a weekend away and you get to enter the competition that's hosted by vernon k something like that okay um but we found one of the heats at least one of the heats on youtube and we watched in the zoom meeting we watched the first couple of acts right (laughs) and they're they're again it's kids right and one of them, let's let's quickly. Where did I put that? Oh, you here know, it is. I've, Look, I've, I get terrible, terrible um, anxiety watching talent shows because of my experiences at the age of four. Let me show you this, right? This is nuts. Let me just do a little bit of. Um, I need to do a little bit of magic here. So we go to Zoom screen. Uh, here we want to share audio. It should just share audio automatically. Share sound, right? So we're going to watch this. Oh, God, we watched quite a bit of it. Let's go to the first kid, right? Now, the first kid has obviously, he's got a dance move. He's got a dance move. Let's have a little look-see at... uh, You watch the talent competition that you would have done with your alcohol over there. Um, There he goes on. This goes on. A mathematical genius at the end who is going to be our independent adjudicator. Goes on for ages. Oh, turn that music down, please. I don't care about your football rivalry, neither does he. He's a child. So- oh, God, they're heckling a child. We didn't watch this bit. Gosh. Oh, my God. I didn't see this oh, bit. Joshua. Great. <laughs> okay, so, are we ready for the competition? Boys and girls, 
are we ready for the competition? Okay, let's get moving then, shall we? Now, that says Star and Crazy on it, look. It's because I couldn't be bothered to stick one of those on that one. So, here we go then. Uh, our first act, ladies and gentlemen, is eight years old. They're all the way from Sunderland. I can hear booze. There's booze. Yeah. The big Newcastle fans, weren't it? Now, turn that music down, please. Someone's going to get it told it. off. Clip uh, um, examples of people on stage telling the audience. Oh, I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> my tongue is ever so slightly in my tongue. Well, I did it. I did it when I was introducing the Who on stage. It was a teenage cancer trust, right? I got to introduce the Who on stage. I may have mentioned it once or twice. But I also got to introduce BDI, the Liam Gallagher band. Now, I, I never really thought much of him, but my my. Impression of him went up when I was stood backstage on my own and Liam Gallagher came over, tapped me on the shoulder, went, all right, mate, I'm Liam. And I thought, holy shit, he's a rock star. He doesn't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I was going to go out and introduce them. Jim, just give us a minute. We'll watch this and we'll get you in. But before I introduced BDI, I had to show a film about kids with cancer. And the BDI fans, some of them, a small number of them, started um, shouting and heckling. And I went, right, guys, your band's coming on in a few minutes. We're watching a film about kids with cancer. Will you shut the fuck up? Yeah. <laughs> Royal Albert Hall. Every round of applause from the Royal Albert Hall. That was something special. So people on stage telling kids off, here, uh, telling audience members off. Here we go. I don't care about your football rivalry. Neither does he. He's a child. So let's keep them booze to ourselves and just stop it, yeah? We go, we're going to do it again. We're all going to give him a cheer, even if you're from Newcastle. Doesn't matter, does it? No. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? No. No. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jim, come he's all the way from Sunderland. Yeah! Imagine booing an eight-year-old kid. <laughs> what a dickhead. If he's shit. Now, this, as I say, this kid, this kid has got one move. Thank you. And it's quite a long song. And they're going to be coming up on the stage, and they're going. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please put your hands together for Joseph. Here you go. Come on, Joseph. Starts off so well. Oh. <laughs> this, Is he going to go through the, st the stage? That's it. <laughs> Gradually make a hole. This is what he does. For the whole song. <laughs> it's quite physical, right? Yeah. You just know that when he comes off, he's going to want a great big drink and he's going to do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't know what that is. Go on, Josie. Again? Down you go. <laughs> I saw you do these moves at uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> you did. It goes on. <laughs> And it goes on. Oh, he's a bit fucked there. So he's not for the eight year old, is he? <laughs> he's dizzy. He is absolutely shattered. Look. Uh, if, I, if I was the guy coming back on, I'd go, all right, you can boo now if you want. <laughs> oh, Joseph. Now, the thing is, Jim's going to come on in Jim and Debo. This is not, this, this wasn't his night. But this would have done very, very well at his night. This would have done very, very well at his night. Here we go. Poor lad. Okay, we'll, we'll have some more of that in a little bit. Um, let's get Jim. I'm going to post the link. This is just for Jim at the moment, please. This is just for our good friend Jim. Copy the invite link, Jim Adebo. One man game of Twister. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, why won't this? Why won't? Uh, why won't it let me do that? Hang on. Oh, it, it won't let me post a link in my own. Who do you think you are? <laughs> invite, copy invite link. There we go. There we go. There you go, Jim. 
Right, let's be having you, Jim. I want to hear this story. It is... It's just for Jim. Others can come in a little bit later on, but it's just for Jim. I thought we could watch a bit more of that. Um... I've told you about my school talent show when I was four, right? So the whole school was getting up and I was the youngest in the bottom class. So the youngest kid in the school. And like two weeks beforehand, they'd said, we're going to have this talent competition, kids. Have you all got a talent? I went, yeah, yeah. I could play the piano. <laughs> Couldn't play the piano. You did? Mm. Yeah, I could play the piano. Oh, that's great. I didn't realise. You do lessons. No, my auntie's got one. My auntie, my great aunt, who I used to see like once every three years. So I'd seen her once. <laughs> but she had a piano and I'd played it a bit in terms of, you know, messing about on it. <laughs> what are you going to play? I'm going to play Humpty Dumpty. Okay. Do you need some sheet music? No, I can't read music. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting then, isn't it? I forgot <laughs> about it. <laughs> this is because I had a granddad. Granddad, who, can I granddad who, who said, "Oh, this kid's a star. She can do anything." So I uh -oh. thought, right, well, I've played the piano. How, how hard can it be? I've seen it done. This is the granddad who rode home on a, a horse once that he found running wild in the street because he'd seen it on the western. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So I get up on stage, <laughs> and she said, "Right, Catherine's going to play the piano. <laughs> Give me all this." <laughs> And I was just like hammering away at that piano until they told me to stop. And I think it was probably for about three minutes. Oh, my God. And the worst thing of all, everyone else got a Kojak lolly, but I just went down back down to my seat in silence. Lulu says, Jim, it's lovely to see you. Come to you in a second. Lulu says, best one I saw was at our local school. Young lad dressed as a gorgeous girl, suggestively dancing to Sweet Like Chocolate. The audience was agog, 1997. Didn't you go to, wasn't there something at one of your kids' school where a guy yes. was singing a sexy Ed Sheeran song? Yes. And he was like nine. So there was a kid. He wasn't even nine. This is at the lower school. So he oh, was shit. about seven. <laughs> the whole school, the whole, um, I mean, the whole of that year. So all these seven-year-olds, and they said, oh, we're going to sing Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. And it's all like my bed sheets smell like you. And <laughs> I love when you burn it. And all the kids are there, oh, ma, oh, ma, oh, ma, oh, ma. And all the parents are kind of... <laughs> in this season, this is this is all quado. <laughs> now, Liz, Jim, it's lovely to see you. Jim uh, was in the fifteen pound Zoom meeting. If you sign up for fifteen pounds, even if you do it for a month, you get two Zoom meetings. There aren't shows; they're an hour each, um, and it's just we just have a chat, and it's, it's it's way more chilled than this, if you can imagine that. And Jim had just come back from his holiday at Park Dean. I think I did film a thing at Park Dean, Jim. I think I did do something there. Um, now, Jim is going to go through the acts that he saw. And Catherine, you're going to be the judge. And I want you to pick what you think was the winner, winner of that night. If you know in the chat, please don't say. You can okay. guess in the chat. Yeah, if you're at the Zoom meeting, please don't, sh uh, don't say. Jim. Let's, let's hear the rundown. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. Cool. Um, yeah. For the people who are at the 15th chat, John this... this this will feel like the neighbours, you know, when you used to watch Neighbours at lunchtime and then you watch it again in the evening. It just didn't have the same appeal. But um, I'll try to do it justice. So num act number one um, set us off uh, to a false sense of security, thinking that this actually is going to be pretty good. I know what's Six coming. There's a 16-year-old girl and she comes out and uh, she sings Warwick Avenue by Duffy. Um, okay. Sings it really well. Totally in tune, totally in tempo. Um, yeah, really good voice. And I was thinking, oh, actually, this is better than I thought it would be. And, and yeah, really good, really pleased with it. And we get to the end of the first one thinking, wow, yeah, this is um, this is going to be something pretty special. Um, and then uh, the next one after that, so not really too much to say about that. She did really well. Um, and she Don't forget, Catherine, you, can you pick the same winner? That the judges picked. I got it right. She might have won it. You never know. <laughs> I doubt it. But the uh, but the, uh, the one after that, um, they got this girl out. Nine. Uh, well, what they got out was this. Oh, and to kind of explain, if you won this evening, you went to the final. <laughs> and um, so the final was going to be held in November. Right. And it was um, the oh, who's that fella? Um, who, Vernon Kay. Uh, Vernon Kay, that was it. Vernon Kay did the introductions, the big video coming on, and uh, whoever wins is going to get to the final in November with me hosting it. 
And so the second one, um, there's three people doing the judging and they're just three people from the park and they're sat in these chairs in the front. But for this one, they got a, ch a chair up on the stage and there was a little table and this nine year old girl came out and sat at the table and she had a little mobile phone or tablet with her. And the three judges sat behind, stood behind her looking over her shoulder and she was doing a maths app of some description. <laughs> And she had to do as many calculations as she could in 60 seconds. <laughs> what an act. I would, only, I would pay to see that. <laughs> the only evidence we had whatsoever of there being an app, of there being calculations being done or anything, was the host who was talking us through the process and saying, she's doing lots of calculations. They're not easy ones. So we were sitting there thinking, well, I could do like 85 at times one times table i could do that no problem <laughs> but so she sat there for 60 seconds with the host kind of saying oh she's up to 12 uh, there's only 10 <laughs> seconds gone. Up, up to 20 seconds oh she's done 30 she's doing really well this is amazing and <laughs> we were just sat there thinking and at the end of it we said well, this isn't really a spectator sport and she did something like 73 or 79 in the allotted time in 60 seconds that is a lot of sums but we have no sums. idea what those We've sums were people. and also what the app was if it's, it's the, the calculator app it's the modern version of do you remember softy walter in the uh, in the beano for his birthday he used to get books of very hard sums that was yeah, his yeah. treat yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'm sure she was very good um yes. but there was no entertainment whatsoever there was two big screens either side and you'd have thought maybe somebody could have hooked up a camcorder but no there was none of that <laughs> so we were sat there for a minute you were sat there imagining awful. sums yeah she must have done well I mean, so the host seemed impressed. And I'm thinking, well, <laughs> if, uh, if this got to the final, Vernon Kay would have to stand there for a minute while she does the, the maths. So, <laughs> but still, she was a bit of a high point when it came to the third act. Okay. <laughs> the boy that you just showed, he was about 10 times better than the boy who came up. Again, about 10, 11 years old. And did you, whereas, did you boo him? No, no, nobody booed. Everybody was very encouraging to every act, even the maths girl. And he came up and he did the, a dance to the tune of the world, well, dance to the Weller Man. The Weller Man comes. Kat doesn't know this song because I told her about it. And she goes, I don't know it. And I played it to her. And she went, I don't know this song. It's like a sheet sea shanty, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. It's quite a big TikTok uh, thing. Oh, because... yeah, that one that they had Boyle Wash Billy singing. Those four lads outside the pub in Birmingham, they superimposed their mouths. And, like, no, you don't know the song. Shanty. Yes. You don't know. No, this was. Okay, the I Weatherman song isn't the sea shanty. The, the Wellerman song. The Wellerman. Oh, the weatherman. Okay, okay. Thinking, not the weatherman. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of the weatherman song. Okay, Kath knows no, that song, and I don't know. I don't know that song. I'm, I apologise. I don't know that song. Catherine does know that song. Yes. But either way, it was rubbish. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. And in the clip that you've just shown, they cut it off about halfway through the song. Oh. But in this song, they played the entire song, and he had two dance moves. One where he kind of had his hands behind his back, and he did a little like. It did a bit of Irish dancing style stuff. <laughs> um, so, and then the other one, every now and then he would stop and he'd do a kind of half um, a, a, a half a, um, a leap into the air, put his hands on the, the ground and, and leap his feet into the air a little bit, about a third <laughs> of a handstand. And <laughs> this carried on. And he, those were the only two things he did. And he didn't put fairly any effort into it. And the entire song, we were like, I can't believe we're watching this. There were five-year-olds out on the dance floor after the, the, the it had all ended. We were doing way better dances than he was. <laughs> so that was number three. And by this time, we were feeling, a, well, we were enjoying it, but for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> and then the next one really wasn't much better because it was a girl, again, about 10 years old. By the way, Catherine, doesn't this sound like the perfect evening? I would love you it. Just get, get a couple of drinks in, get a couple of bags of crisps, rip them over. We're picking each other's crisps and just <laughs> loving this. This is great. A few pints had certainly helped us. By the <laughs> and the next girl, I'm not kidding, she's about 10 years old and, and pretty average height for 10 year old. And um, she brings out a hula hoop, but not just, you know, like sometimes you see a hula hoop and you think it's like a child size hula hoop. 
and it looks suitable for them. This was an enormous hula hoop. It was almost <laughs> like she had like practiced with a regular size hula hoop, but all they had was a giant hula right. hoop that she came out with. <laughs> and so she, I think she expected to hula hoop through about half the song, but about five seconds went by and it was already on the floor. And so she picked it up and her own, only other move was that she'd get her arm like that and twirl it in, in the arm. <laughs> yes. But because it was such a big hula hoop, it would fly off of her arm and disappear miles off to the side. So for ages, she was walking off to pick up this Retrieving giant the hula hoop. hoop, bring it back and try again, gradually getting more out of breath and exhausted as the, as the song went on. Again, a full length song. Um, <laughs> that we had to endure this poor girl and she had to endure this suffering. So the next one wasn't as bad as the previous two, <laughs> our previous three, but um, it was uh, it was Katy Perry's War sung by another kind of 11, I think she was probably about a little bit older, about 11, 12. And she was singing it. And you know, like when you see Britain's Got Talent, it's usually um, the kids that sound like adults. And she yeah. sounded like a kid and we quite respect for that. And, you know, she did quite well. She was singing in tune and, and um, yeah, we were quite enjoying it. But unfortunately, she got off of the beat quite a few times and found herself about four or five beats behind. So... When she's doing Katy Perry's wrong, she'd had a few more. So she was going like the record is trash. So, but I thought she's a shoe in, and so she might. I'm not going to like try to put you away. Maybe there was something. There was something magic going on with that act. You saw something special there. I thought no. I just thought I've seen enough. Uh, Britain's Got Talent. So I've seen enough ch children go through yeah. when they have very little talent. And yeah. uh, can I just say, we've had a few people just join us. They're going, what the hell is going on? This is Jim Adebo, one of our regulars. He was recently at Park Dean Holidays, great holiday place. And he was there for the talent show. He is talking us through the talent show. So far, we've had uh, the children, all children, a child singing a Duffy song, a child doing hard maths, um, a, gar a kid doing two dance moves, and a hula hoopist. Okay, carry on, please, Jim. <laughs> and Katy Perry's was the latest one. Again, I thought she's, she's pinned on to win this thing. Right. Um, the next one was probably one of my favourites in a sadistic sort of way. <laughs> it was probably my highlight of the, the whole thing, which was a boy, the, the, the guy, the woman announced it perfectly. She said, the next young man's going to come on and he's going to do rap. And we were all left to think, ooh, what is going on here? I had, visions, I had visions of Buster Rhymes or Eminem straight into some hardcore gangster rap or some <laughs> Dave. Um, but no, this young man comes out, um, again, about 12 years old, um, and he comes out and he does a rap that's about bullying and overcoming bullying. Oh. Um, and, and I think he'd stolen it straight from a Britain's Got Talent act. Um, so I'm not trying to give this guy a hard time. I'm not suggesting... You're not bullying the kid. I'm not bullying him, no, far from it. But uh, I think um, the, the crowd gave him a tougher time while trying to encourage it because they all started clapping along. And I hate organised clapping where everybody's clapping to the music. But as he raps, they started to clap. And as they started to clap, he started to speed up. And as he started to speed up, the clapping started to speed up. <laughs> And his rapping, and like it was almost like the two of them were trying to get each other to go as quick as you possibly could to get through this as quick as you could. So by the end, he was, <laughs> and it was, it was, it was like it was, it was like it was horse racing commentary <laughs> yeah, by the end of it. He was paddling through it. And he got to the end completely shattered, but he did really Beautiful. well. He, you know, he managed Love to get it. through the words. Rap is very, very popular as well at the moment. It's very, very big. So that, that could be a shoe in for the, for the winner. The last act you'll be glad to know is that act number seven was uh, two dancers who we'd seen the night before um, on the dance floor. These were adults. Some, these were adults. These were tw about the, tw early 20s. The only um, adults taking, imagine that, it's all kids and you're all set and you've entered, you're going, oh shit, it's all kids. We can't, we can't go on there now. And you're last as well, so you could have you could have just bailed. Yeah. They didn't look like they gave a shit. 
Um, they <laughs> absolutely didn't look. They were in it to win it, and they were really quite determined. They were they were probably the most focused of all of the acts of the evening. And one of them, the the fellow looked like Jedward, but with slightly shorter hair. He had that sort of sticky up blonde hair. He looked like he could work at one of these parks easily, and um, he was very slim. And then the woman with him was kind of she she was she was a carrying a bit uh, of, of weight unfortunately i think she just enjoyed the holiday a bit too much but great also, food at park dane great great food, food. fantastic oh, well, i haven't tried any but it's, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is and um was quite top heavy as well so that didn't really help with the dynamic of the dance but they danced really well the night before with the all of the um the cha-cha slide and all of the, the classic disco tunes they were bang on time and they were like whoa these guys are amazing so we, when they came up we're like these guys are great but they got in their own heads, I think. And the, Ooh, the fella kept on, yeah, the fella kept on looking at the girl and she was giving, giving it the best, but he was kept on getting out of time. And it really was a bit of a shame, really, because really, I've been there. When, I, when off, I danced on Let's Dance for Comic Relief, I could only hit the, when we rehearsals, in rehearsals, I would hit the beat 30% of the time at the start. And I missed the beat and the real thing. And for the whole thing, I'm a beat out. I'm a beat out. So I, I'm, I understand what they were going through, Jim. I had a tough time of it. I, I'd like to have been a fly on the wall afterwards because I think they'd have had a proper kickoff at one point. <laughs> but, and that, and that mercifully was the end of the event. But there was still the decision on the winner to come. So, Catherine, so, you've heard all of the acts. We've had all, all children sit until the last two acts. We've had a young child singing a Duffy song. We've had a young girl doing hard maths. We've had a young boy dancing. We've had a hula hoopist. We've had a young woman, young girl singing Katy Perry. Was that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have, um, uh, uh, what else? I'm, I'm missing one. The dancers uh, at the end. There was the rapper. The, oh, rapper, the rapper, the young rapper, and the adult dancers at the end. What do you reckon, Catherine? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling maths just because it's so different. But it can't be maths, can it? And then there's also the hoop is calling to me. <laughs> oh, or the rapper. Was it the rapper? You're going for the rapper. Yeah. People in the chat, people in the chat who don't know. Some of you know because you were in the Zoom meeting. People in the chat, who, out of those who, in fact, hang on a minute, I can do a poll, can't I? Let me just, uh, very, oh, if I remember how to do that, bloody hell. It's been so long since I've, oh, fuck it, I can't be bothered to do a poll. Um, but people in the chat, who do you reckon uh, was the winner? Give us your suggestions now, please. Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, the maths man, the maths one, the maths... The only allegedly successful actors, I were told. Hoop, hoop, adults, hoop, Wellerman. <laughs> hoop, hoop, adults, hoop. Maths, Wellerman, maths. It's split between Wellerman um, and maths and hoop. Jim, please, would you like to announce the winner? The winner of the Isle of Wight Park Dean Talent Competition was... Yeah. I really wanted to look like I'd frozen there. You did look like you <laughs> frozen. Now. <laughs> it was the maths girl. Yeah! Maths. That's insane, right? The shock. <laughs> the shock going around when she won was unbelievable. I've never heard a reaction like it. And everybody's like, really? I think it was probably, you know, like when a goal scored, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Really? <laughs> was the kind of the reaction. Nobody was that fussed apart from. I think in like Vernon Kay's got to fill a good minute with this girl. Wow. Unbelievable. The least entertaining of the night. Won but it. the most different, and I'm just hoping, you know, maybe, you know, like when you watch um, Britain's Got Talent and, and Simon Carr goes, yeah, I enjoyed it, but I want more death. Maybe they could make it more give it a bit more peril or at least hook it up to the big screens for next time. I'd like to imagine the Simon Cowell reaction. To <laughs> out a bit of we have no idea what the sums were, what the app was. Oh. Sofa Bum says, did she do boobs on the calculator? <laughs> um, maths beats hoops all day long. Uh, people just started booing Sunderland out of nowhere. That's a reference for half an hour ago. If you weren't here, Britain's got brains. Um, it was maths. Jim. Yeah. 
thank you so much for sharing that story with us again. It's appreciated. You're very welcome. <laughs> see you later on, mate. Thank <laughs> you, Jim. Ya. Lovely to see you, buddy. That's um, that's something else, right, Catherine? Uh, the maths. Incredible. The maths one. We just had a few people sub in, and I just want to say thank you while we're doing this. Lilo, JKRX. Ah, lovely to see you, Chris. Uh, um, not a jockey. Villa Forever. Ashley. Seymour in. Thank Mad you and welcome, Saint guys. Thank you and Cozy welcome. Cozy Bug. El Cid. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank nice. you. Thank you for that. It's appreciated. Um, should we watch a little bit more of this This other? It's a, it's a talent special. So let's Is watch anyone going to do a Sudoku more. or a crossword? <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, and I honestly don't know what we've got beyond the, the saying, I just need to go to, oh, I can never remember to do this. Um, Zoom screen. Then I have to share the screen. Where have you gone? You've disappeared. Share screen. Ah, uh, where? There we go. There we go. We're back in. Thank so you. for those who missed it, this was the first act. Jim. So, uh, eight years old. Here we go. First act. Does that for the whole song. <laughs> the whole song. Okay. So we've seen that. I know what act number two is. I don't know beyond act number two, but I've only seen the beginning of act number two. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, this guy's shit because his his. Do you think you could do some moves? You put the microphone in his face so he, you can hear him. Oh, why not? <laughs> I've only got 2021. One. Oh. Were we in lockdown? Harry would like to do his Rubik's Cube thing, says David. I told you, one of the acts at my kids' school do like music school, and they have like orchestras and rock bands and stuff. One of them was a string quartet playing the William Tell Overture, why a kid tried to do 10 Rubik's Cubes, um, finish it before. And he, he did finish it. It was the most exciting thing I have ever seen in my life. Got the biggest cheer. That was the day when I didn't sing God Save the Queen. Because I'm too old. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Act number two. 11 years old. They're all the way from Bonnie Scotland. And then, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to come up and they're going to be doing some comedy for us. That's time someone did. Three. So please put your hands together and welcome up onto the stage. It's Ashton. <laughs> yeah, you're not using my mic, Ashton. All right. Hello, my name is Ashton. I am 11 years old. So when and I will fucking kill every fucking one of you. You get to the age of 11 years old. You have to start thinking about what you want to be when you're older. Now, at first I thought, easily, I'll just be a YouTuber. But my mum wasn't happy with that. <laughs> it's like he knows the tune and he knows the dance moves of comedy. He doesn't know the words. Ashton, you can't be a YouTuber. You have to do something meaningful that makes you happy. So I thought, what makes me happy? Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Now, Kathy, you're smiling. What's behind that smile, please? I admire, I admire the audacity. If my kids did this, I'd, I'd, this would be the one thing I'd say, no, nah, mate. <laughs> nah. No, you wouldn't. You'd be on the front row going, oh, it's so good. Tony says he's watched too much Kevin Bridges. Now, I don't know Kevin Bridges, so if that's similar, Sarah's looking for some Sadowitz material. Marcus <laughs> says, Chortle, four stars. Nah, that'll not make money. Yeah, career opportunities there. I like animals. I could be a vet. Nah, I don't like blood. Yeah. Comedian. That's his mum laughing there. You just hear his mum laughing. Hang on. Nah, I don't like blood. Yeah. Comedian. Fly, I could do that. Stand up. Tell a joke. Get paid. Three simple steps. And I could take it. One further. I could tell a joke and then I'll video it. How great of an idea is that? That's amazing. I'll call it being a comedy tuber. 
So here we are. Ashton. Kath, do you want a drink? I'm going to go and have a shit and then get... <laughs> <laughs> Could you get it on the way back after you've washed your hands? Stand up for me. I do wash my hands now since COVID. I do wash my hands when I have a shit. Did you but got by the one and only YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Before we get the actual comedy started, have we got anyone from England in here tonight? Yeah. Quite a lot considering England. In England. <laughs> Fuck that up. Have we got any Scottish in here tonight? Yeah. Bit more than I thought. <laughs> right, my mum's English, my mum's Scottish, and my dad's English, so I try not to take sides. So if if I offend anyone, please don't come and get mad at me. It's just comedy. <laughs> oh, that was the end of that, was it? Who's from where? <laughs> Imagine if he now did a whole thing about Pakistanis. It's just oh comedy. Please don't get mad at me. It's just comedy. That's how I'm going to end every show I do from now on. Guys, if you got mad, don't get mad at me. It's just comedy. It's just comedy. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do a sketch from one of my favourite comedians. He's Whoa! He's, I, I haven't got this far. He's lifting, is he? Is he going to lift from Bridges? Called Michael McIntyre. Okay. If he'd have stopped after that little set, he'd have won. It was a nice little set, confidence, you know, like not really funny, but he's, he's 11. Yeah, he's English. <laughs> and as Michael says, I think that in some time in history, the Scots got together and said, right, today we're inventing the Scot, all right? Is everyone all right with that? Aye. Aye. Because I bet he got a laugh when McIntyre did it and you didn't get the laugh. The theory here... <sighs> He's just going to repeat Someone that. posted this on my YouTube and it feels appropriate to say it. Patter thief. <laughs> it has to be as opposite to English people as is humanly possible. All right, this is... This, enough oh, of this. Yeah, can I have pockets? Can I have pockets? Because I've got my good Scottish money. <laughs> too long, so, too long. No, stop. Everything in the city. How long's he been on? So, uh, Ashton, how long have you been into comedy? <laughs> you were born funny. <laughs> that was quite funny, that. <laughs> I'm just trying to not let him know. <laughs> um, um, are you, are you, later on in life, when you when you grow up, you, are you wanting to do this full time? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Well, I, I wish you the best of luck, my young man. I really do. I love, I, I love a one-way interview, don't you? Yeah, uh, you, you, you see, you, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a really simple thing, that, but it's people don't do it. You, <laughs> we've all seen. Ah, oh, that's nice. Strange fat man. Huh? We've we've all seen people do it. Funny thing I did on we had always one of my favourite things. I came up with this on the eleven o'clock show was you you put the microphone in someone's mouth and then you push it. You just very <laughs> gently push it and they'd go back. They'd go back. Or or sometimes you I would do the interview where I'm asking the question, pointing at them, then it's with me for their answers. You can't hear anything. <laughs> fun fun times, guys. Fun times. <laughs> Me and David Turner's and Ginger Beard Mark came up with a, like a whole concept for a show that we could do. And we'd do a GoFundMe. We wouldn't do it now because no one's going to pay a GoFundMe. And it's a funny, funny show. It's just a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a lot of work and it'll get seen by 600 people on YouTube. And you think, yeah. Meanwhile, there's millions of people watching um, someone eat noodles. From one of the most yeah, yeah. Or scratching so the microphone. <laughs> right. So what's next? So act number three is eight years old. We are all we're very tired. And they're all the way from Scotland. <laughs> oh. oh. She's going to be shit. She's ready, though. And uh, she's going to be coming up. Oh, she's got the hair, the thing in the hair where you make it go all frazzly. Crimped. 
they were brought in someone like when we were about nine or ten brought them into school and did everyone's hair and then the mom, all the mums came in the next day and complained did they <laughs> yeah they did we had a crimper and my tr- usual trick was to say to my sister let me do yours and then you can do mine and then i'd do hers and then i refuse to let her do mine <laughs> david we are not on skype but i will post the zoom in a minute if you want you've messaged me privately gosh <laughs> can I can I I send it to you right how do I send I never know how you send um, I'll, I'll just do a screen grab right I know I won't so I'll send it to you hang on because it's funny I just told him some bits and pieces about what's been going on this week it's the uh, I've just sent you a whatsapp it's the last paragraph is the important bit right totally David we are totally Onto the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Cody says she's going to stuff as many home brand frazzles in her mouth as she can. <laughs> yeah, you up for that? <laughs> that might that? be. <laughs> That's not a key throwing in thing, is it? It's not a euphemism. Slash dance floor, and she's going to be doing some dancing forward slash gymnastics. Dancing slash gymnastics. Okay. Dance gymnastics. It's hard for people now under the age of 30, 35, to know just how big gymnastics were in the 70s and 80s. Every school had a pommel horse. (laughs) Every school had a pommel horse. And I don't really know why. I used to do gym competitions. I was shit, but I used to do them. (laughs) That was the first time I ever saw rosettes. Not a euphemism, because there were always rosettes, weren't there? You get rosettes for it. Yeah. Um, Okay. Sienna. Sienna, is she going to come up on stage? Is she going to do it on the dance floor? Surely she needs some sort of mat. Ladies and gentlemen, please be honest together for Sienna. Oh, climbing up a rope. Climbing up a rope was a huge part in most young men's sexual yeah. development. It's there were some lads you could never get down again. Yeah, the higher you went, the, the nicer it felt. It was so <laughs> weird. Here we go. That stuff I actually find fascinating because I can never do a cartwheel. I, I don't. When we went, um, I'm flipping it. When we went paddleboarding, took the boys paddleboarding. It's like a sort of slightly smaller surfboard on a river. And the we, it was just us and the, the instructors, one called Alex. And she said, boys, watch this. And she did a headstand on the board. And we're like, whoa. Kim was doing roly polies on the board and staying on. It was amazing. Oh, she's coming down the stairs. She's coming down the stairs. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's good, a back walkover. If, if she don't win... Well, oh, God, is she going to hurt herself? Flip it. Flipping it. She's actually really good. If she... She's brilliant. If she don't win... I'm worried that she's going to bash her head, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was good. Okay, I feel, I feel like we've I feel like we've seen it, we've seen it. <laughs> that was good, I enjoyed that. That was great. All right. The same reason as, as, as Joseph at the beginning. <laughs> All right, boring, boring. Here we go, let's, let's see who's next. Oh, oh! Team. What are they gonna do? Dancing together. Oh, it's Dan says, I wonder who will win, the little lad who stole a load of jokes or an actual talented young gymnast. (laughs) Here we go. I've been told to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, they have written this song last night. Oh, fuck, they've written their own song the night before. They're doing new material. Oh, my God. This is the best thing. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, so it is an original song, ladies and gentlemen. Are the girls going to dance? What is, what the, what is this? I don't know what this is. Both by themselves last night. So please put your hands together oh, oh, for oh, Henry, Sophie, the Aaron, and, and Kinsey. The girls are going to dance, I think. 
Look at this. Look at David Turner's there. <laughs> Cocky little shit. Love it. I love it. <laughs> Thankfully, no popsicle twins. Okay, yes. I don't know if you were here so far uh, 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 earlier. I think you were here earlier on. For the announcement, the sad news that um, Lucille Cataldo, the hairdresser lady, died in June. Died in June. Thank you, Lena, for bringing the vibe down. Let's go for it. You ready? Let us introduce ourselves. We got some time to kill. Let us do this devilish dance and let us do it well. <laughs> okay. All right, some of you may want to go and have a shit. This reminds me of Yo Where Wow. Sofa says, I heard, yes, she haunted me when she lived. Remind the audience, to, to Catherine, please, the Yo Where Wow, well, that, that reference will, will that was thankfully a band I was in. nothing. That was a band I was in when a, I was 12. A band. <laughs> a band. John Lennon was in a band at 12. Catherine was in a thing called Yo Where Wow. Yo, in the garage. So it, that involved my friend Fiona. <laughs> she had a guitar. That involved my friend Katie on the Bon Tempe keyboard. Running down the freeway. Was that it? Running down the speedway, eating all the ice cream. <laughs> oh, it's Dan says, I don't know why, but I was actually expecting something at least decent. But it's just a lad shouting whilst two girls flop around. Yeah. Come on. We the, girls are trying, the girls are trying to distract. Listen, you loved it when it was E17. <laughs> Again, Catherine, this was you on New Year's Eve. Now... <laughs> You think that we are nice, but all you really do is You think that we are mad. You really, you think that we are crazy, but you're the only one who is shady. Three years that we didn't do it. Now we're not. Three years we didn't do it. Now we're singing out loud like Britney Spears. Yeah, we said three years, but we think no one really cares. Now it's time to go, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I know you want more, but there's no need to spoil it. You, <laughs> Mr. Peace Pop, thank you for the sub. You may, there, there are, I have to say, there are no refunds. <laughs> let's have that whole song again because let's give that whole song the respect it deserves. Well, no, we won't. We'll play it actually. Here we go. <laughs> this is my favourite act because there's a there's a gender division which I I'm an old fashioned guy. I approve, and they are they're the only ones that's gone up there and gone right. We we're going to show you our creative. We're gonna we're gonna uh, we are in the arena getting dirt on our face. <laughs> That's Let's not introduce <laughs> ourselves. We got some time to kill. Let's do this devilish dance and let us do it well. You think that we are normal. You think that we are nice. But all you really do is tread nothing nice. You think that we are mad. You, really, you think that we are crazy. But you're the only one who is shady. You think that we are good. You think that we are nice. But really, we are just walking on thin ice. We are the we do. Flicky finger. <laughs> well done. That I think is the best. That is the best one, I think. What, well, better than the actual gymnastics? Yeah, yeah. I think it's braver. Boring. Boring. Here we go. Who's next? Oh, oh. Well, that was that's the shortest talent show. Next up, we got let's get them all up. Let's get the winner. So the winner goes through to the final, hosted by Vernon K. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, stand forward, swimming forward, come and stand on this line. Perfect. Now, you can all see them, Chris. Yeah. So who's it? Oh, there were. I think you do see judges. If you go right to the beginning, excuse me. They're judges. They are judges. Oh there. yes. Okay. 
A young Bob Odenkirk. All right, so let's... Oh, hang on a minute. There we go. Yeah, give them an absolutely massive, huge cheer and round of applause as they take their bow. Take their bow, take their bow. Take their bow. That's it, thank you, that's it, that's it. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, hang on. We've missed something here. Oh, they all won. Hang on, we've missed something here. Right, okay, so I still think we're using our fingers and thumbs. So we are going to get a round of applause for our judges. So, ladies and gentlemen, please see your hands together for our three judges. They were Laura, Rob, and Emily. Ladies. Hang on. Have we missed it? Excuse me? Wait. Okay, so uh, I'm still, we're still waiting. Are they counting up the score? Oh, decisions. I uh, I'm just going to stand here and look awkward for a little bit. No, Phil, it's your flipping job, mate. Give us some announcements. What's happening after the show? Where, where, where can we? What's happening tomorrow? Well, oh, he looks like he's got like a funny beard when he's back. Oh, He's lost it. He's lost the crowd. I'm sorry, it's very loud on the stage with this music. It's like the sing song, so it's all good. Um, now, are we ready for the results? Yeah! We were ready 20 minutes ago, mate. Are we? Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, drum all around the room, please. Uh, keep going, keep going. As, as, as lovely Danny comes over towards me, we need, we need to make lots and lots of noise when she gets close. You don't make the do a drum roll for Danny coming on the stage. <laughs> I like Danny. Danny's got more personality in her little finger. Give her the mic, oh, give him the envelope. Right. <laughs> 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 Can I have the results? I want to see the results. The results have been counted and verified. It's Vernon K. Let's reveal the winner. Good luck to all the contestants. Vernon K. <laughs> oh. Well, that was rude. I don't disturb you when you're doing your talent thing on ITV, Vernon. You don't see me turn up on the screen behind you. All right, man. All right, let's just give us... Look, they're Come sure. On. <laughs> Come on. And, 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 and hopefully, one piece is one. Bold move. Yeah, very bold move, because I'm going to clip this and send this to Vernon. <laughs> <laughs> I know who the winner is. Come on! Would you like to know who the winner is? Oh, for fuck's sake! Come back tomorrow. Here's your, in here's your ad break. Oh, Jesus. It's not TV, sorry, I thought it was. Right, okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of your Talent Nation competition for this week is... Draw Dog Walking Do says, I hope Vernon sects his missus. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, you, you won the internet tonight. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Oh, around the room. Oh, come on. The winner is... Stop playing pocket billiards and tell us one. I can't take this, Kath. <laughs> the tension. I cannot take this. This is awful. <sighs> we'll be back after these. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Here we go. <laughs> the fucking comedian kid. The gymnast should the have won. The patter theft. The patter theft. The gymnast. Should have been the gymnast. Fair play, it's packed, isn't it? Can I just 
say, she is... In the 35 seconds she's been on stage, watch her walk off. She's g g way funnier than this guy. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Dan is furious, swearing. Wow. We know. How do you feel? Really happy with himself. <laughs> we How do you feel? You, we'll you, never know. You don't need to repeat it if you amplify him. And uh, the question is, Aston, will you be coming back to come and enter our final finals in October? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. Hang on a minute. Those are the eyes of a drunk man. <laughs> <laughs> that dead, slightly cross-eyed stare. Definitely. Wicked stuff. Now, my other question is, are you looking for a job? <laughs> No, because I was going to give you mine so that I could have the night off. <laughs> Ray, you cheeky. <laughs> well, now, Owens Dan raises a good question. I don't know, Jim, maybe you know this if you're still here. Do they have to pay for their return trip to Z Vernon? And I did wonder this. Is it you get a paid weekend at uh, the, the main resort and, you know, you're there? Or do you have to pay yourself? Because if you have to pay yourself... No one's going to go. Also, <laughs> if you do get a free one, that's why they didn't give it to the four kids. They could be from four different families. That's four different chalets, or, or I think it's caravans you've got to put up. What time is it? <laughs> yeah, you're lucky. It's before nine o'clock. Right. Um, well done. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to your table after this. I'm going to give you a letter, okay, and a form. Your grown-ups need to fill that form in. No, we don't need to hear this bit. <laughs> Get that back to me before the end of the night. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Me. Deal. They've just heard me as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please put your hands together for your winner, the television. <laughs> You're watching, if you just tuned in, you're watching the Limmy story. <laughs> I was thinking that, actually. Rare footage. <laughs> Mark says, I love hearing this admin. <laughs> Gymnast should have won. He's giving her a hug. Fair, fair play to the kid. The kid won a talent show. Fair play. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock him. Fair play to him. He was. He was very, very confident, and you yeah. have to respect. Him. So that's the end of your talent nation for this week. He is going to be unbearable for the rest of the night. Yeah. For another week, then it's on again at the same time next week. Uh, Ten thirty on Thursday after. Thursday morning, 10 Most of people won't still be here morning. next week. It's a holiday some, park. Some people do the two weeks though, don't they? And they love it. They love it because they know they know what the routine is. Standing at the bar that's supposed to be judging. Any Rob? Uh oh, someone's getting shaved. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We've got your park life part one with the fantastic Tony K as Gary Marlowe. So don't go anywhere. You'll Oh, uh, park, park, park Life Part 1, Tony K as Gary Barlow. Barlow Beyond sensational. Very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been Phil. I'll still be Phil later on. But I'll see you in a minute, everyone. Bye. 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 Phil McCracken. Phil. What a hint. Well done to one of the contestants. Someone said Phil McCracken. <laughs> Did you hear that? So someone said Phil McCracken, which I must admit I thought, I thought I won't say it because it doesn't really make sense. Oh, you go, Phil McCracken. <laughs> what a hint. Well done to all of the contestants. You were fab. And of course, a huge congratulations to our heat winner. Well done, you. You know, one step closer to our grand finals weekend in November, where I'm going to be joined by our first celebrity judges. There's the face so of a man who's grinning and banking it. Well done. Talent Nation Champion. Good luck. Good luck. It's going to be amazing. Talent Nation. Do you remember when we were watching, when we were watching a thing about red coats or blue coats? And from the 70s, and then it got a bit racist. How would you pick a good... So how would you pick family of the week? Well, we wouldn't pick mixed race couples. Uh, or people do you remember who weren't that? Mar yeah, it was... We wouldn't pick mixed race. Um, or people that weren't married, wasn't it? Um, I'm wondering... Oh, I've been, I've been loving train records. 
go and watch train wreck records it's i i've i've just watched them all day i watched about the um second hootie and the blowfish album crosby stills nash and young uh, summer in paradise the beach boys i was watching today he does a thing about madonna's cameos in movies um right comments are turned off okay we, uh, let's type in talent show 19 pick a year 77 the year of my birth the year i was gonna the year i was gonna go for it here we go all right let's see what we got here high school talent show high school talent show this can't be real right let me just check if this is real Oh, it looks, it's not great. It's too, yeah, yeah, it's too, yeah. Hello? What's this? What's this? <laughs> okay. What is this? Do you love classical music? Well, this guy keeps do, popping up, and I don't like classical music. It's either songs, classical but... music or some woman telling me how I can make thousands of pounds with just four hours' work a day because of a loophole. Fuck uh. off, is there a loophole? There's a guy doing some ladder ladder work. He died. What the f? <laughs> this is the most amazing thing I've seen in my Today, life. The morning show presents its first annual Wave Employee Thanks Amateur for that Talent Show. And here to open the show is Dale Gear. Is Dale Greer. Thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome to the first annual Wave Amateur Employee Talent Contest. Now this what the fuck is this? What is Wave? Well, began when certain employees of There's no information. What the hell is this? Wave TV complained to the morning show staff that we never give them a chance to be in front of the camera. Wave TV, we these are TV people. On a search of the building. Just feel. Singing floor director Nick Ulrich will display his talent, which has nothing to do with singing. <laughs> and is this a works folks, thing? Yeah. Engineering secretary. Talent contest are here by popular demand. Popular demand that they be involved in the show or we. I don't know what that is. That makes me. It seems to be a lot of intro and not a lot of show. Let's have a little bit of this. Dave, are you still here? You still want to come in? Oh, I'm... Once upon a time, not so long ago, TV executives had a wonderful idea. An idea for a top-rating TV show that would have an entire nation glued to their seats every Saturday night. A hard-fought competition that? that would allow young hopefuls a crack at stardom, where they'd face a harsh panel of judges. All right, we get it. This is get to the show. Oh. No, thank you. Give us two minutes, Dave, and then we'll, we'll do it. Harry's coming in. He, he called Ted Arthur. Who the hell's up? Yesterday I was happy to play for a penny or two song. Okay, let's 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 put the the um zoom link in because I believe we've got some people It's with their talents. Excellent. With their talents. Come in with come in and show us your talents. Show me your Where's my talent. Cat? Where's my cat? Lucky! She's not locked in the garage or anything. No, she? she's not in the garage. I'm just going to go and shout for her. But... And while he's gone, I'm going to do some maths. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think that that maths um, talent sounds like quite a good one. I mean, Carol Vorderman, that's where she got her start. Rachel Riley. I mean, it could be the next Rick. <laughs> Could be the next record, but I've got a message back from David Turner saying no keys would be involved in the uh, scenario he's planning, which is always a great, great move. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ian 
Lee. There we go. Right. Who we got? Uh, we got people coming in. I'm really worried I hit her. That's my fear now. Okay, I'm not being serious. It's your big break, all right? Whoa, here we go. Yes. Break, all right? Don't mark this up. You want talent? You want talent? You want talent? I'll give you talent. This boy here. He's got the talent. He's got the talent. Well, then do, what are you going to do, boy? I'm, you... go I'm going to solve this Rubik's Cube. Impossible. Well, well, try the hard. Rubik's Cube. Try the Rubik's Cube. Go on, show him. <laughs> I'll be... Don't mark this up. Here. <laughs> <laughs> that is abuse. Right. Hold it up. Hold it up. Look, the camera's got to see you, boy. Right, go on. Go. <laughs> Oh, when it's we... done. No, we're not, we're not going to tell you when it's done. You tell us when, when it's done. Tell us when it's done. Well, all right, you got past it. You ruined it. You'll never <laughs> make it to Vegas. You'll never make it to Vegas. Boo. Hey. Boo. Do it again. 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 Yeah. Right, Are they of your so... dad's pants I'm behind sorry. you? Uh, no, that's, that's Jay's stuff. Uh, right, <laughs> listen, we're a bit, we're a bit topsy turvy at the moment, right? It's summer holidays, okay? Right, listen, boy, you gonna, you got to get this right this time. You hear me? This is your big break, son. If you get this right, and this you is, this, we can say this now. Yeah. If you get this right, you will win fifty pounds, fifty pounds, 50 pounds from your dad. dad. Your dad will well, be paying you fifty. Well, pounds. we'll have to find out who your dad is then. <laughs> 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 Have a word with your mum. I'm sure she knows. Hey, you ready? No, not yet. We'll scramble it up. Come on. Okay. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Ian. I'm you, so sorry. You you young man are doing brilliantly. Ignore your rather pushy dad. You, in fact, we'd rather we'd rather have you on than him. But that's the way it goes. Ready? Let me guess, Harry. Let me guess. We, I know we've met before, Harry, but I can't remember how old you are. Let me guess. Don't tell me. Fifteen. No. Five. Uh, s uh, higher or lower than 15? Lower. Six. Mm, higher. Th three. <laughs> the higher. <box>. 12. <laughs> 21. Higher. Okay, give me a... Lower, right, to, lower. All right, to give me a clue, <laughs> tell me, what do you do for a living? What's your job? Uh, what's my job? I don't have a job. So unemployed, lazy. okay, all right, lazy and unemployed, feckless and feral. Uh, I'm going to say ten. No. Eleven. No. Nine. No. Eight. Yes. This is all right. Don't get angry with me. <laughs> What's with the attitude? I'm getting angry. Are you or what? Why is this taking so long to scramble a, a Rubik's cube? You're scrambling it so good. Yeah, but they're not he's scrambling, he's scrambling it so good. All right, Harry. Here we go. Now, that is a good scramble. Here we go. Right, hold it up. Ready? It's coming the down. Box. Jim says, I'd love it if Gatford follows with a wrap or some hula hoop. <laughs> I'd love to Watch see a Gatford cube. wrap. Lift the cube higher. You're doing great. Oh, go back, did it. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> you did it. Go on, babe. You did it. We saw go you on, do babe. it. Well yeah, done, Harry. 50 pounds to you, young man. <laughs> Well done, Harry. Whoa. Absolutely, absolutely spot on. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Can we oh, clip still that? Got he's still got the headset. Oh, we can hear us. All right. We won't be rude. We won't say any swears. Can we um, clip that and send that to We should send that to someone. Yeah, no, he's like down there, the boy. Some he's form of boy. authority. Um, do you um do you know my favourite Vernon K story is when he hosted the Games Awards? Did you oh, yeah. have you heard that one? No, yet? I don't know this. And he got, it didn't go down well. Oh, he, the first thing he did was come out, and you can't find the clip because he's had it removed from YouTube now. Oh, but the first thing he did was come out onto the stage and went, "I'm so addicted to games." <laughs> it, was just, it was just silent. <laughs> <laughs> those th those are tough crowds. You know, um, I hosted on a Saturday morning on ITV, me and Holly Willoughby hosted a video game awards thing. And we had awards. This is nuts. Ash were playing live in the studio. Ash. Were Ash. And we, awards were handed out by, um, I remember, Simon Pegg and Katie Price were handing out awards. Me, I was hosting oh, it. Combo. Holly Willoughby was my assistant. 
nuts. I was. That is so weird. I, it was nuts. It was. It, I, I was not very well. That was the last year of me not being very well. I was very, very poorly, um, and it was just. It's just insane. I can't even. I can't even believe that happened. Um, your boy's good, David. He's good. He's all right. He's okay. He's head. up to. He's. A, he's. A, that's the best way for him. Um, no, he's. A, he's. He's all right. He's. Um. He's going back on Monday. We can't wait. Thank we cannot Christ. wait. It's bad, isn't it? It is bad. You should, you're not supposed to be so excited about him going back to school, but we no. quite. We the are. glee when I handed over the new school uniform today. Don't get comfortable, <laughs> kids. <laughs> going. Going to get the new shoes. Yeah. Don't past you remember class. though? At the beginning of the summer holidays when you're a kid, you'd go to Woolies or something, and they'd have that back to school side. You're like, come on, mate. Yeah, with me, we'd be taken to Clark's. We would use that fancy machine, and then yes. Mum would take me out of there and take me somewhere cheaper. <laughs> um, there's something, something in the chat which I need to address. Oh, uh, heckled yeah, but... Ian at the MCV Awards about 15 years ago. Gaming Mr. Dan, what was the heckle there? What was the, was what that was the, the one where you had the, the, the Sony thing? Oh, oh, fucking! I, so MCV I did a... is the is the um, isn't that the video games like industry awards? Yeah, is that the one? Well, there was there, it never went well. I did it about three years. It paid extremely well, but they, it never went well. There was one when I came out, and they'd had a bottle of water for me, and I swigged it, but it was wine, and I had to just <laughs> spit spit it out on the stage. Ooh. But well, then geez. also there was a guy. There was like H the HMV, I think it was, had won. Best, there's a word for it, and I can't think what the word is, but they'd won best front of till display, right? It's like till display, right? And there's a word for it, and I can't think what it was. And, and, you know, I took the piss out of it a bit, and the guy that came up and won it was fucking raging, <laughs> rightfully so. Really? I dissed, I dissed his award. And so he came up on the stage... And I was at one end, because uh, I would announce it, then someone would present it on the other side. So he came up on the stage, took the microphone and said, and then just went, you're a fucking prick. And fuck you. This is a fuck, fuck you. And walked off. And as he got halfway to his seat, I went, yeah, but I've still got a fucking microphone. So let's talk about this. And it was, but then he won the award the next year. And, he, <laughs> and I didn't remember it. And he came up. Did you do exactly the same thing? He came up. No, he came up. It may have been, it came up and then he went, I'm the one that won the award last year and you took the piss out of me. And he did the same thing. And then he walked <laughs> off and as he got to his table, went, yeah, but I've still got a fucking microphone, you prick. <laughs> um, so there I was that. And right. there was the I, Sony. I, I, you never want to get to the point in your life where you get an award for a display next to a till is like to be <laughs> taken that seriously. And the, the Sony yeah. thing was, I, I did a thing on Watchdog about PlayStations being shit. And about how you could fix it by they used to call it baking them. Is that what it was? Where you'd wrap it in a towel and heat yeah, it up. Yeah, it's it was the hot joints, towel trick. Yeah, joints becoming loose, trick. but it wasn't a real fix. It would fix it for a day at best, maybe a week, and then it would then they would go again. And and we filmed this thing for Watchdog, and we filmed Sony wouldn't come on, so we had a bus set up opposite Sony, and we're doing. All I remember this shit. watching it. Yeah. And then the day before it went out, they Watchdog filmed me up. I said, Ian, um, is it? Do you do you? do like work for Microsoft and Nintendo. I said, yeah. They went, well, we can't show the film because we're the BBC. And I said, yeah, but I do work for all of I work for Sony. I do all of that. Said, we can't. And they were, they were raging. I only got to do one more film with, with Watchdog again. And that was me swabbing toilets in on a public train. They, they did show that though. I'm telling you, they definitely they, no, showed what that. They, I well, remember you being in a van outside and no, offering people the They service. showed a tiny, because I filmed a whole report of it. And they right. showed the tiny bit of that bus, but then the rest of it was in studio or they filmed some extra stuff. So they didn't. They only showed a tiny, tiny bit of it. But then I hosted one of these awards and the, the people organised said, there's a bit of controversy because Sony, for some reason, don't want you hosting it and we don't know why. I was like, oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. So I then had a T-shirt made up saying, Watchdog is shit, Sony, I'm really sorry. And I kind of, and it didn't really, it, I, I haven't done anything with the gaming industry since then. So, okay. uh, yeah. hold on, you've appeared on TCGS. That's, uh, that's quite an accolade, isn't it? Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, and then I listened to it a couple of weeks ago, and you were slagging me off. So, oh no, you weren't. You were saying you had some guest on, and you're going, oh, Sean. I think it was Sean. Sean, you're the, you're our favourite guest. All the other guests are shit. And I wasn't on our, that one, to be fair. I wasn't on that one, to be fair, was I? Wasn't on that one. Can't have a go at me. Alistair, how you doing, mate? You're all right. <laughs> Hi, David. 
How you doing? How was your uh, Twitch stream? I caught the very start of it, but you, uh, how did it go? It was fine. I mean, it was just music, basically. I mean, occasionally I sort of um, said a few things in between songs, but uh, and sort well, of played air, means, guitar, air, air guitar and uh, playing keyboards, uh, air keyboards. So, yeah, I enjoyed it, though. <laughs> what other air instruments have you got? Every, everyone in the orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you do air sax next time. I want to see some air sax. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, obviously no VOD because I'd be chased out of town. But, yeah. No, no, it's, it's illegal. It. It's highly illegal. Yeah. Is it, so. is, it, is it illegal? For, I mean, I assume I'm breaking the law just, just streaming it. I think just talking about it. <laughs> yeah, that, there's an age limit. Um, and you are, you, yeah, we have oh. informed the police, I'm afraid, Alistair. <laughs> well, Alistair's look. not amused, look like that, look. No, no, no drag oh. on his cigarette. No, I've, I've thought about it, and I'm thinking, <laughs> well, look, Hello, Joe. at the end of the day, Hello, Joe. At the end of the day we've, we've got to start <laughs> fighting back against the corporations. And besides, I probably bought the music in other formats in all the years I've been alive. So it's basically yours, you, yeah, you're doesn't right. doesn't give you the right to publicly broadcast it, um, Alistair. To eight you know, people. You know what I need to get for this? Well, this is going to be my... my <laughs> my counselling room, my therapy room, and I need to get a few... Si I've got a picture up there from Imani that says, I'm so fucking bored. That has to go. And I want to get a few things like, the rules of this house are... <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Smile, laugh, be I'm happy. The... I've um, got some. And I want Hold one on. here that one. says, live, laugh, love. And I want... Apart for the loo, enjoy your poo. Another one that says... Um... <laughs> this one says... That was in my cousin's house. <laughs> it was. And a word search. Uh, I can't read that one actually. Go on. Why can't um, you read that one, David? I can't send you a picture. Uh, uh, we've got we've got one that says um, Brighton is always a good idea in a toilet in sun. That's that's my favourite. <laughs> Dave is Dave is trolling us in the chat. Uh, Dog fat. He says half time at the Divine Comedy. It's been rubbish so far. I don't believe that for a second. It's been rubbish. Do not believe that for a second. Um, you like the haircut, by the way. Very dapper. It does look good, actually. Oh, yeah, Joe, we're bitching about these. Tired parents and happy kids live here. <laughs> there go. There's another one. Go I had on one that show. said, this house is built on love and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Or was it built on foundations? And, That's and, like, and now under a that. pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Joe ripped one down because uh, she was having a bad time. <laughs> 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 Joe? What was the canvas that you tore off the wall and left a hole in the wall because you were up, like you're having a bad day? It said something like, always think happy things or something. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell. What was it? Happiness is the best medicine. Laughter is the best medicine. Oh, Unless do more of what medicine. makes you happy. <laughs> and I come home from work and there's a hole in the wall. And I went, why is there a hole in the wall? She went, rip that fucking thing down. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll leave you alone for a bit. <laughs> do uh, people still do there. those keep calm and carry on things? Keep calm and drink No, gin we've and... never done those ones. Uh, people do, though. Go to a garden centre, there'll be a whole section. i tell you what I miss, right? I would say I've been watching this train wreck train records right and it's, it's so it's, it's i found it interesting i watched one about he did he does them about one hit wonders and he did one about right said fred from 2017 um but they i didn't realize that you know they're really fucking rich because the uh, um uh, the, the sexy the two sexy song was number one in america they've got a writing credit on the new beyonce album and taylor swift had mm. to credit them so they are so wow. fucking loaded um, but he also did one about... That's why they can afford to do nothing but talk bollocks all day. Well, exactly. <laughs> but, also, but then he played some of their other songs, right? And Deeply Dippy was... was the, Deeply Dippy went to number one in the UK. I'm Too Sexy. That didn't. is a tune, though, to be fair. Deeply uh, Dippy's I, I great. I love Deeply is. Dippy. They were a bit yeah. of fun once. Hard to remember, kids. But they but. only had the one hit in the States. The other one... Oh, no, D the Rocking Birds did a great version of Deeply Dippy, the country band. Um, and St. Etienne did... There was an EP because they were all on the same label, and it was St. Etienne. Anyway, but then I watched the one about uh, One Hit Wonder, Bobby McFerrin. Don't worry, be happy. I miss Billy Bass. <laughs> Do you remember Billy Bass? Billy Bass? What, the fish thing on the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss Billy Bass. Do you remember Billy Bass, Alistair? You could get do, Billy yeah. Bass. It was I... late 70s, that. 
was it? Kate? No, it was well, 90s, well, considering, wasn't it? considering it was considering considering the song it? was a hit in the eighties, that's unlikely. And also, we didn't have that technology in the seventies. You could probably find them in a. You could probably find them in a um a, a, a garden centre. Didn't someone... those places? Sorry, those in the um, those flashing guys that you put in the back of your car. Well, you didn't know, like, someone drop his trousers? <laughs> Did I see a video of <laughs> someone modding a Billy Bass and turning it into like an Alexa or something? <laughs> um, I've seen that. Yes, yeah, yeah I that's happened, that. yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love that. Yeah. Go on. What, you, uh, what, about, go on what about the little sun, sunflowers with the with the little uh, sunglasses? <laughs> um, yeah, no. We, uh, did you have to go to garden centres for like a cheap day out? Yes. When you were yes. They're so weird. They're so still, weird. Still do. It was either that or walk... walking up and down at Milton Keynes, not buying anything, just walking up and down. <laughs> when did <laughs> yeah, they yeah, stop yeah. calling them nurseries? Because I'm old enough to remember. You remember this, Alistair. Oh they used they to be called nurseries, didn't mm. they? Yeah. yeah. When did they stop that? Mm. Late I 70s. I know that. I've never, don't know, really. was, that was never heard that. Born. Kath Nurseries? There's one near me that's still called the nursery, but I think it's because they think they're, they're classier than they are. Okay, all right. It's a class thing. Yeah. My um, my parents used to take me to Pets World in Rains Park uh, for a day out and just to walk around. And yeah. we used to look at the look at the dogs coming in and getting groomed. And we used to look at, you know, rabbits and all this sort of stuff and go, okay, all right. And then back to the car park and yeah. back home. <laughs> my kids used to think that Pets at Home was a museum, like until they were probably <laughs> yeah, about eight or nine. <laughs> Oh, it's Dan yeah. says, my great aunt used to take me to a garden centre the day before my birthday every year for a treat. <laughs> what was the treat? A plant? <laughs> no, just the trip. I they remember we used some to... some swings, wouldn't they? We used to go to one in Maidenhead and there was, there was, like, there was a garden centre. There's also a habitat there, which was very weird. And um, there was some swings. And I was like seven. And my parents would leave me on the swings. And can I tell you the saddest thing that ever happened to me as a child? And I look back on this and I think, oh, God. Was, I, I, you know, so we're playing on the swings. And I'm, there's this boy there. And we're, like, playing together, right? And then my mum and dad said, oh, we've got to go now. Oh, can I have 10 minutes? You wouldn't get 10 more minutes back in the day. No. And I remember walk, get, walk into the car and turn around and shouting at this boy, see you next week, mate. <laughs> Of course, I never fucking saw him again. I don't have no idea. That was see you next week, mate. Can never saw that kid again. Can I tell you How a sad, sad swing story? Yeah, go on. When I was about three, um, we got we went on holiday to Pontins and um we were staying in a caravan and they took all the kids for film night and we all went in a big crocodile. And on the way back, they let us play in the swings for a bit, and then the crocodile proceeded back to the parents. And my parents were standing there waiting for me to come back and I They'd forgotten me, and I was found oh. sitting on the swings by oh, myself. No. Oh no! no. I was three. Oh no! How? Did, wait, wait, hold on. You don't remember that though, right? No, I'm told about it. I'm told oh, you're about told about it. it. Yeah. My, my oh, no, mum being absolutely frantic. The, the, I got the, a similar. The I got a similar story, uh, Catherine. I uh, went with our two brothers' parents to Filey Beach, and. Uh, my parents had gone down to set up the chairs or something, and my brothers were running in front of me, and uh, I, I, I didn't couldn't keep up with them, and I got lost on Farley Beach. This was the time when beaches were absolutely packed. Yeah. So I could have been like abducted and never seen again. Maybe you were. How do we know you're the real Alistair? Someone else, well, the real Alistair's out there somewhere. Yeah, how, yeah. Well, how do you know who your kid? How do we know who your parents? We don't know. You could be living a yeah. whole different life. Been replaced. Yeah, no, doors. we had it in reverse because I remember once when we went down to uh, I don't know Little Hampton or something, uh, and we got the Little kids Hampton. out of the car. Mm. Something like that. I don't know. Time is get tiny you. penis for. And um, <laughs> and uh, we were walking along the coast or whatever for about ten minutes, and Joe just turned around and went, "There's my mum." And uh, we'd left her in the back of the car and locked it as we were walking. <laughs> she was not happy when we got back. Uh, so we had that one. How long was she um, locked in? She had 10 minutes. Well, did you even leave her a bowl of water 15. or leave the window? Why, why didn't she <laughs> say anything? Why didn't she it's, say anything? I don't know. She went, she went, I, I, I thought you'd come back. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Well, we did eventually, yeah. It took Can us I just a while. ask Harsh? Harsh, you mentioned the Bishop Centre. Was that where the habitat was? Was that in between Slough and, and um, 
Maidenhead. Was that the Bishop Centre? Sorry, local slough chat there. Is this rubbish places you went and you got taken as a kid? Seems like because it, Because that yeah. is a good chat. I mean, we, got one. we had the other one we had was driving down to Gatwick Airport. Not to go anywhere. We just went in the departures <laughs> land and looked out the window at the big planes. Mark Dunstall. That was an hour. Mark Dunstall was into plane spotting, right? And he was like 10. And he came around my house one day. It was a big deal because he didn't live that near. He came around my house. And he said, and we were going to watch planes from my house because we were slouch. So you, you know, there's a few planes and stuff. And what he said was, right, you sit in your room, Ian, and I'll sit in your sister's room and look out the back, right? Oh, but my no. room just looked into the street. <laughs> and my sister's room looked out over the playing field where all the fucking aeroplanes were. So I didn't see any planes. And he saw loads of planes. Okay. We weren't even All in the same room. Is draw, probably. <laughs> All I'm hearing is that your mate strangely travelled a lost, long distance to come and look at some planes in your sister's bedroom and ask you to stay out. I mean, <laughs> it all comes together, doesn't it? It all comes together. Dirty. We got oh. taken on a lovely holiday to the south of France and um, one of the shittest trips we've ever been on, and we've been to the Pencil Museum in Keswick, <laughs> was a prune museum. Oh, well, Two prune. little girls shown prunes in all its forms. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I mean, I don't know what's... I think I'd rather that than the pencil museum. The pencil museum? What was the pencil? Just to... There's a pencil. Do you remember when you used to go to Isle of Wight or whatever and you used to get those big pencils with the map of the Isle of Wight around it and that massive tassel? And, and it would have think... like a plastic cover for the, the yes. lead yeah for the yes. end bit and you'd go you were never going to sharpen then... that because there wasn't a sharpener big enough no. after some holiday there would always be one kid trying to use it <laughs> like, like a borrower <laughs> no. i was shown around a pigsty once with uh, a group <laughs> of people <laughs> that's quite Speaking good though of one of last summer holidays i took the boys horribly with... smelly yeah, the boys. The one of the boys' treats at Chessington was they got to clean out the pigs. They loved it. <laughs> Tell you the but animal this... that stinks the worst: crocodiles or alligators. Is it? Oh. They really? Smell like eggy. It's horrible. Oh. How do you know? When um. <laughs> we went to... been wrestling. <laughs> did you? Did we you went to Florida. Did you own we went, them, we went to one of those like backyard zoo places where they'll um show you a they'll be, they're, they're a tough guy when they're wrestling with an alligator that's got his mouth um elasticated shut oh the the the, the little baby crocs on i'm a celebrity had their mouths shut what is yeah. this like a black market zoo is it yeah, it's what? weird it's weird out in the everglades <laughs> where no one can enforce any regulations by the looks of things he had a sticker in his window that said guns gators and god <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, wait, I'll have to get Joe to get one of those for the flat. <laughs> we went on one of those gentle Ben, you know, hairdryer um, boat things through the reeds. Oh, yeah, what yeah. They don't oh, ever God, show they're him. amazing. They wouldn't, they, um, they, were they, they give... uh, sorry, Crocodile Dundee. Isn't there a massive scene with them in? Yeah, I've yes. always wanted to go on one so of them. So they give you, like, ear defenders, but no one tells you that you get loads of the shitty water in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And the water smells like the alligators. But apart from that, it was a great experience. Yeah, it sounds like good. It sounds like top fun. <laughs> Someone's posted the clip of me on TV with Vernon Kay. Uh, and it, have you seen this clip? And he prod, I he, I pradeep him. Have you seen that? Yeah. It sounds yeah. like something we need to see. What? Yeah. Let me let me um, let me show. The, let me share the screen. Hang on a second. It's it's a really weird clip. It was this weird talent show, and I don't fuck. I don't know why I was. How many talent shows is that man involved in? Oh yeah. Yeah, right, hang on a minute. Let me share screen. Let's get this going. Share Burn screen. Kate, I'll have some of that. <laughs> I need to go that. here. I need to do this. And I need to go... Oh, I never know which one it is. Zoom screen. Just there we the go. two of us. Right. So it was like... It was... Um, it was like a celebrity would team up with a singer and sing. And I was in the audience, like, on the celebrity row. But the, I, it was it was weird. Right. And Vernon was a big fan of the show. He used to call up the LBC show as Mark oh. in the Park. Um, oh, it's, it's Mark in the Park, got a cost of cream. Oh, and, I remember that. And he, so he was a fan of the show. So I'm sat there and they were going to interview, I think it was Chris Moyles next to me, we'll see. And, Ver, oh and so they, that was all set up for that. And Vernon said, oh, Ian, when I cut, right, I'll come to you and I'll, you, you say Pradeep. 
I do remember this. I remember this. I went, yeah, all right. Let me pull away really quickly. Well, you don't see me because the camera was never going to focus on me. Yeah, I go. think he put me... But put now Vernon down. is in our audience with some really familiar quickly. faces and fans of the show. What do they think? Uh, we'll soon find out. Ian Lee, what do you think of the show? Bloody... Yep. Uh, Chris Miles, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, thank A you. joke Hello. for no one. Enjoy yourself. Not really. Let me, let me come down. <laughs> A joke for no one. Where that are you? I can't even see it's you. Well, because the camera didn't go on me. So let's have a. <laughs> well, there's my ex-wife. That's my forehead. Oh yeah, I That's see your forehead. That's all you get. You got your um, forehead, didn't but you? then after I'm that, sent... cause there, after that, because there was um, there was a song. You remember the song um, about uh, um. There was a uh, there was a guy who had learning difficulties, made a song um, uh, that we played on LBC about members of the cast of EastEnders. Yeah, when he just lists them. Or um, oh, what's his I don't name? Carl... That, All right, hang on a minute. All right, hang on. Carl Matthews. Marley will. Carl Matthews Easter. I think that was his name. Um, and one of the Cat Slater. Here we go. This is okay. Here we go. I think this is uh... okay. All right. Um, I don't know. Right, let me drag this over here. Oh no, Gary Hobbs. Gary Hobbs was the song. Gary Hobbs was there, right? And we'd been playing this song a lot. And Gary Hobbs was there, and he came up to, to me afterwards for some reason. And I went, "All right, mate. Do you do you know this song by this <laughs> this guy about you? Right? It's really weird." And I was laughing at it. And he just went, yeah, yeah, I know it. Poor bloke. We're all we're all God's children. We're all God's children. <laughs> so what a fucking weird thing to say? I'm having a lot. Here we go. So this is. Um, can we you see that? Can you see Gary Hobbs there? Mm -hmm. oh, I can oh, see him. It can, okay, here's the song. Here's the song. You can hear that, right? No. Nope. No. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Everybody, what's wrong with everyone tonight? <laughs> Everyone's got a cob on. All right. Hang on. Share screen. Gary Hobbs. Um, right, can you hear now? Yeah. Mm. Well, could you or not? Yes. It's good. I like it. It's got a groove to we're, it. Yeah, we're, we're all God's children. Here we go. <laughs> That's only a pound. She's a pretty lady. She's a, She's a cat slater. slater. <laughs> there we go. That's um. Did you ever see? Did you realise she had a link with reggae music? <laughs> it's definitely not for now. But did you ever see that Bobby Davro in the stocks video? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god! With that video that you played earlier, really reminded me of that when that guy just fell down for no reason. Yeah. It, I just it reminded me of that, and then in my head I've got Keith Chegwin going, "Oh, Bobby!" At the, <laughs> it's, the um, they showed that. They showed that on the his BBC, face, didn't they? Yeah, they showed that yeah, at the BBC really as um, like a health and safety. Have you seen who is the flake girl at a oh, wedding? But... You know the flake girl. Uh, she had flakes at her wedding. Lou Peter presenter married that man. Nancy he... Turner. Thank you. You've seen her set on <laughs> fire, right? No. Flakes at a wedding. Have you not seen Nancy Turner set on fire? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Have terrible. you seen? That? Have you seen that? Yeah. Sitting yeah. in the back of the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Um, let's see if that's on YouTube. It may not be. Um, Anthea, again, they show it as um, oh, Anthea Turner on fire is what I'm going <laughs> to. Why are you laughing so <laughs> do much? That do that in kick, not incognito mode because it's Googling that. Hang on, is this? Building is this a case it? against it. <laughs> is this it? Um, yeah, this is it. All right. Okay, oh, okay, I don't know. Is this bad? 
Uh, yeah, it's fucking awful. But you said you wanted to see it, didn't you? Or have I got no, confused? No. You I mean, said you, you loved it. What I remember. Share screen. <laughs> I don't love it. Right, hang on. Which? Here we go. This. Uh, no, Yoshi, we don't do that. Thank you. At least you've got all your cats there. I'm I've missing got a, a cat. All three here. Zoom screen. I hope, I hope I it comes back soon. Look at this Thank you. I have seen this. It's where it blows up behind her, right? Yeah. It's not yeah, as bad yeah. as I made it sound. This is awful. Only the British know how. Yeah, this is this is rough. Well, she was nearly total because the bike. Oh God, this is a, this is thing. this is from an American TV program that's using uh, it as entertainment. The attorney yeah. is backstage. During her live broadcast, a motorcycle will attempt to jump out of the back of this truck amid an explosion of pyrotechnics. The rider is in position, but just as Anthea goes on the air, and if you want something to happen to you, oh, this is awful. Yeah. disaster. Let's watch again. The fireworks detonate too early. The motorcycle comes blasting out from behind Anthea. Her hair and microphone erupt in flames as she is slammed to the ground. That is awful. Yeah, that is bad. I just got those you... first words out. She's all right though. Look. Oh no, yeah, she's fine. Now. She's fine. It's all, all right. Did you did you ever see the Frank Bruno Agony Aunt thing? No. That's an absolute classic. If we can watch that at some point, oh, that would be. This is this is actually horrendous. He's oh, no, locked in stocks with his trousers around his ankles. What a way to go as well. Imagine that. Oh, dear. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Come on, guys. Look on the bright side of life. Oh, Jesus. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do a thing. Don't do a thing. Lionel Blair, what is he doing there? There we go. Look, this is the safety thing. Yeah, this is the Last safety Last minute, there, good yeah, idea. Good idea. Using the word pillory there quite a lot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> try, try um, Frank Bruno agony on. I, I probably, I don't, I hate doing this, but I think you might find this funny. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's that one, yeah. That one. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Frank Bruno, I'm celebrity advisor number four, Doctor Bruno, if you may say. Thank you. Over and out. Taxi. <laughs> Just to catch his reaction. It's... We have our... Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know... Who that is. Oh, maybe I it's don't. a wind-up. They're winding him up, yeah. basically. Okay. But it's the way he reacts. Okay. Just... Hello. Yeah. You're right, yeah? yeah Wicked. Yeah, good. Yes. Just Sharon Horgan. No, is it, though? Dr. Bruno, what can mm, I do for like you, man? Um, well... This is Paul Garner's show. Is this it is really? The, this is the pilot show, I think, where uh, Paul Garner, we were having dinner with him talking about this, where it was, it is Sharon Horgan, where he just created all of these pilots that were never going to get mad. We'll, we'll watch them in a minute. Hang on. I've been with my husband for about um, five years or so. Yeah. And um, oh. but just, I think, since the birth of um, my daughter, I feel like he's sort of drifting away from me a bit. Is he you know? jealous of the baby has been born? Well, to the, um... it's not really that. I just think that the spark has gone. You know, the romance seems to have just gone. Sometimes when a baby come, comes along, yeah. the spark goes a little bit yeah. because beforehand well, all the energy was put on to your husband. Yeah, but it's the very is, is that really on. I'm carrying a lot of issues from the birth because it was quite traumatic and I suffered from a prolapsed womb. Oh, sugar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sugar. <laughs> what else can you say to that? No, just yeah. keep watching, keep watching. And, um, yeah. Which really, I mean, that made my womb sort of dropped. And well, I don't know too much about the womb. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm a man. Uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it sort of it caused my, um, um, my vagina to distend. <laughs> you know, so, um, I think that... <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be a small show, but I'll cut, I'll cut, yes. And the thing is, is that I think... He doesn't really find me att attractive anymore yeah. because of that. And there seems to be sort of excess labial tissue, you know. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> sorry. So I'm laughing at something else. Sorry. <laughs> Someone actually said that in real life. No problem. Sorry. Um, and I mean, it's not like I, I mean, I make an effort when he comes in from work. You yeah. know, I'll always put a bit of lipstick on or put a comb through my hair. Wicked and I'll always try. And I lost yeah. the weight after the baby. 
And the problem is, Frank, that really my, my, my flaps have sort of flopped down and gone sort of dangly. And okay. I, I need to know how I can make my husband attracted to me again. There's, yeah, Paul Garner did a whole series. Paul Garner, the pilot show. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. I love that so much. He um, really tries, doesn't he? Uh, um, oh, there's not that much on it. There's all the ele- his eleven o'clock show stuff. Uh, hang on, let's let's see what his, his pitches are. But let's first, see. meet Heidi Bressler from The Apprentice. Oh, this Heidi's is an American one. In the spotlight. And is hoping this TV producer has the show to keep her there. But what Heidi doesn't know is that the producer is from BS TV and the ridiculous shows he's about to offer. Oh my God! Well, let's have a watch. I don't. I don't know about the American. Our total BS, BS TV. Heidi Bressler's new monkey head. We will take a monkey's head off using <laughs> surgery. Put it on your shoulders. We'll take your head off. Put it on a monkey's shoulders. How would you take my head off? They can do it with surgery now. The I'm not taking my head off. Okay, um, where's <laughs> Paul Garner? Let's go to his. Let's go, go to this. Um... Wouldn't you just walk out straight away on that one? I don't. <laughs> um, I don't. I, I need to have a little look. Fan pipes. Fan pipes. Um, I don't know. Oh. Oh, what's this? And uh, no. Hello, my name's Rob Young, and welcome to Entertainment Idol. Over the next few weeks, All we're right. taking our panel of celebrity judges up and so down. So this the is top. a this is sold as a pilot to whatever, whatever celebrities on. I don't. I think Whittling I've seen down this the one. wannabes in a quest to find a brand new star of the entertainment world. We've been joined by celebrities from across the world of entertainment. I've seen uh, this. From BBC Radio One FM, we have the one and only Miss Emma B. He's a living legend whose credits cover both small and big screen. It's Nicholas Parsons. And she's the child star whose career in the world of entertainment has spanned over 30 years. <laughs> the wonderful Bonnie Langford. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring on our first act. Oh, no. He's from Stevenage in Hertfordshire. So this is Paul. What he describes as a one-man musical about his passion uh, for the beautiful game of football. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, give it up for Mr Phil Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a fan to describe his nemesis. We can see him from here, high up on the terraces. He's dressed in black and he fills us with anger. And so the cry goes out. The referee's a wanker! The referee's a wanker! The referee's a wanker! The referee's a wanker! <laughs> My old man said, be an Arsenal fan. I said, fuck off, bollocks, you're a c- <laughs> <laughs> That face. Not impressed. <laughs> Not impressed. I kind of want um, Frank Bruno to be there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. They say that our supporters are the worst the world has seen. But did they go to Tokyo to see us act serene? And so a simple message to the press who write of sins. You're gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get your fucking egg sin. You're gonna get your fucking egg sin. You're gonna get your fucking egg sin. Thanks. So to our next yeah, tonight, very good. Uh, guys, do you like music? Sure do. Yeah, we do you music. like comedy? Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Well, you're going to love our next act because he's a musical comedian. No. I'd like to do a song now about being with your girlfriend just for just a bit too long. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> God, <I'm happy. laughs> this is not going to be acceptable, is it? Together for three years. Together for three years. Yeah, because I get to sex these days is hanging out at brass. Together for three years. Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> that way? <laughs> that way? <laughs> no. I just gotta stop a second. I think I've. Do you wanna go away and come back in a minute? Stay. Come back in a minute Stay. when you Carrie, get better. Carrie, are you alright, Steve? Please say Can someone comes out with a mop. Help clean him up. 
Parsons oh, was appalled. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good stuff out there, isn't there? I do recommend going and looking. He doesn't run the channel. Someone does for him. But go and look at Paul Garnus. If you've not seen Strutter, go and watch Strutter on there as well. Strutter's very funny. He wrote, he wrote loads of the 11 o'clock show. He also wrote all the... Um, what was the Peter K? I mean, Peter K is Strutter and it's brilliant. But he wrote uh, the Penis, Dennis Penis. He did all the Dennis Penis and stuff. And his uh, father-in-law was Chaz from Chaz and Dave. So there you go. What a team. What a team. What a team. What's a team? Well, there's a new there's a new reality show on uh, you know one of these regular ones that comes up ITV called uh, Hotel Custody, and it's about uh, they just lock the doors of a hotel. Well, in. No, no, out. it's um, it's the uh, new police custody centre in Grimsby. What? And, uh, you know, when they if they arrest somebody, they it's like a super custody centre. So if you get arrested anywhere in that area, then they cart you off there. But uh, anyway, that's where I got sent a couple of oh, times. Oh, fucking hell. Back in the day. Yeah. So it's really nice. So have you posh. seen any of it? Have you seen any of this reality show yet? Or is oh, it yeah, I watched, started yet? I watched some of it today. Did you recognise the places? Do you think? Oh, they've done it up nice. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Yeah. 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 It's uh, they look after you well there, and uh, I mean, I think I was probably a bit of a knob. You know, well, back in the dark. Days. We, you know, we were all knobs back in the dark days, Alistair. But, yeah. Now. So yeah. So I'm a knob um, still today. That's the problem. That's yeah. my problem. David's in his dark Still days. a knob. Twisty says, did Paul Garner work with Chris <laughs> Morris on his Radio 1 show? Yes, it's that Paul Garner who did um, all of the airport announcements. Would Heidi Drugs quick please come to, you know, all of that stuff. Um, all right, guys, we're going to wrap up. So thank you, David. Thank you, Alistair. Lovely to see you as, as per always. Cheers. Um, and we'll see you very soon. Please Take evacuate. Easy. Bye. Sorry. Sorry? I hope Lucky comes back soon. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will tweet when she does. Thanks, dude. See you later on. Tura. Yeah, I'm one cat down. McPauls, thank you for the sub. I'm one cat down, and she's not going to come home tonight. And I feel. Oh, I hate it. Two nights. That'll be two nights. That's a long time for her. No, no this will be night number three. Oh, Jesus. I don't oh, like man. it. It makes you not want to not let them out. I do worry. Did I hit her? I'm sure I hit something. I, well, I reversed out the drive the other morning and I thought I hit something. So I, I drove forward and went out and looked and there was nothing there. I've looked all around. There's, I, she's not. Oh, man. I hate it. She's, I hate it. My little baby. I've got to hand it over. I've got to hand it over. I've got to hand it over. Got to hand it over. We are here. It's a free show. It's coming to its end here, viewer. Um, if you want more shows like this, including one tomorrow at 7 o'clock behind a paywall, um, you, she would have moved, wouldn't she, when I started the car visionary? She would have done. You're yeah. absolutely right. And I need to keep that in mind. I'm making it worse in my head. She'll rock up and she'll be fine. Um, we do two shows. People are saying, oh, it's lovely to see you back. How come? Where, where have you guys been? We've been doing two shows a week for the last... Jeez, we started in June of last year. So we've been doing two shows a week for well over a year. And you can come and watch them live. You also get full audio podcasts and access to hundreds of hours of video and podcasts by going to Patreon. All you could do is sign up to Patreon. Uh, if you sign up for $4.99, um, plus that, you get uh, two shows a week. There's the yeah. link in the chat. If you're listening on the podcast, patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine, patreon.com slash I-A-I-N and Catherine with a K. And it's not and a long-term commitment. You could sign up for a month for and then if you don't fancy it, you slink off into do the it, darkness do and it no for one a month. knows. What a lot of people do. So if you want to just go two pounds a month, you don't get anything for the two pounds a month, but a lot of people, you know, they can't afford the rest. They're not that bothered about the show, so they go two pounds a month. Four ninety nine is probably the best value. You can give a bit more if you so wish. If you go to the £15 level, which is a lot of money for a month, um, but you get 
two exclusive Zoom meetings as well, yeah. where they're not shows. There's about 25 people rock up to that, if that, 15 to 25 people, and you can have your camera off and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, we do this every month. This is get a real job. This is our job. Um, if you look at a lot of the other Patreons, we're very good value for money is what I'm going to say. You can do it for a month and then drop off. And there's card. loads of stuff that's already in the bag. So once you get access to it, just go, go through the back catalogue, rinse it dry. Visionaries are 666. We have a, we, it, we, it's going down every month, right? And we get a few new people each month, but it goes down quite a bit and it pops up a little bit. Um, so uh, we, we are getting to the point where we, we're getting close to the point where we go, well, yeah, it's not really worth doing anymore. Um, so keep it going as long as you can. But we get that it's, we get that everything is so expensive and we are not a priority. Please, 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 if, you know, if it's a cost, a difference between eating or heating and us, go for the eating or heating. We don't want anyone to get into any financial trouble on our behalf. Please don't do that. Only do it if you want to and you can afford to. That's it. Essex Gamer, I'm driving to Newcastle next week. Can you subscribe and can I subscribe and listen in your can you subscribe and listen in your car? Yes, you can. You can um if you've got like the internet on your phone, you can watch live. But also there's there's hundreds of hours of podcasts. You get your own little private RSS feed, which is this code, which you get the code and you put it in most podcast providers, not Spotify, but most podcast providers, and then all of the podcasts will pop up. Mm -hmm. Over a year's worth of podcasts pop up. So there you go. There's the advert, that, guys. That's it. That's your lot. I don't know if anybody's streaming. Um, let's see if anyone is streaming that we like. Um, we are back tomorrow at 7 o'clock for Patreons only. We are uh, back tomorrow at 7 oh, o'clock for us. Patreons Shush. only. Shush. Why won't it be? We are uh, back tomorrow at 7 o'clock no, for us. Patreons. What? No. Shush. Oh, shit. Shush. Why won't it be? Remember, we used to do this stuff no. on the radio. What? No, yes, oh, I do shit. remember that. I don't know how to make that we stop. We used to do this stuff no, on the radio. No, yes, oh, I do shit. remember that. I don't know how to make that stop. Oh, stuff. fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not doing a thing here. It won't. Oh, fuck. I don't know. What am I looking at? I don't even know what I'm looking at. I can't see. No, I know you can't. What am I looking at? just as well, I know what I'm looking at. I can't see. No, I know you can't. There's no volume. just as well, I Oh, there it is. If you've missed us for the last uh, year or so, you'll see we're just as shambolic as ever we were. So nothing's changed there. There's, do you know what? There's, there's no one streaming that we know. So uh, who's this? Oh, hang on a minute. Nah, there's no one streaming. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, Jim, for your contributions about the talent show. I think you've um, really set the tone... <laughs> for the show. Um, and on that bombshell, 